Roughly 80 miles separate the University of North Alabama and Alabama A&M University. And tonight, for the first time since 1996, these two schools will play a game in Florence, Alabama. You're watching Big South Football on ESPN+. Plus. Good evening and welcome into Brawley Municipal Stadium. I'm Benjamin Ray alongside Brian Neese. And Brian, a season ago, this rivalry was renewed in Huntsville, Alabama, where North Alabama stole away a 25-20 road win. Now tonight, the rivalry continues in Florence with both teams looking to bounce back after losses a week ago. Yeah, you're exactly right. Both of these two teams trying to bounce back from a loss last week. Uh, UNA was on the road. Alabama a and was home. They're trying to get last week's bad taste out of their mouth. It was a late fourth quarter touchdown from North Alabama that propelled the Lions to the road victory. Tonight we'll have two quarterbacks that really like to throw the football around. Let's talk about our Sunbelt Reynolds impact players of the game for Alabama A&M. It starts with their trio of talented wide receivers. That's exactly right. This trio is led by Brian Jenkins and Xavier Moore. Jenkins a little bit banged up tonight. We'll see if we see him. But these th three receivers have nearly 500 yards between them. They're a dangerous trio that UNA will have to pay close attention to tonight. And for North Alabama, senior quarterback Christian Lopez loves to go to work with his four redshirt sophomore wide receivers. Yeah, you're exactly right. They're a special group. Jacoby Bird, Cortez Hall, Dexter Boykin, and Andre Little. They're all game-changing receivers for this UNA squad. As a matter of fact, Cortez Hall has caught two 75-yard touchdown passes already this season. And, Ben, that ties a Big South record. We'll kick off the 24th all-time meeting between these two schools. When we get back, you're watching ESPN Plus, and this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you by GEICO. Celebrate the passion that only happens every fall. Join the game. This Big South Network broadcast is brought to you in part by GEICO. Big South alumni could save even more with an alumni discount from GEICO. Visit GEICO.com slash Big South today. By Marriott, the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference. And Sunbelt Rentals. We have equipment for that. Percent to kick off the 24th all-time meeting between North Alabama and Alabama A&M here at Brawley Municipal Stadium. Welcome back, Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese. All set for the kick of this one. A&M won the toss and deferred to the second half. So we'll get our first look at the North Alabama offense first. But, Brian, let's just start. Both these teams lost their week two matchups a season ago. Are Nice's pieces to success for this one to get back in the win column? What does each team need to do? Yeah, you're right. Both of these teams trying to bounce back. A&M, hunker down, dog, early. Avoid these big plays that UNA has come to like so far. They like scoring on huge plays. Let's see if the A&M defense can control that. And if you're UNA, try to attack early. You want to get this crowd behind you, get them energized, and regain your confidence a little bit from that loss last week on the road at Montana. That's Spencer Corey ready to kick things off. A&M in the solid white uniforms, North Alabama in the solid purple kits. This matchup. Should be a good one, a rivalry game. 80 miles separate these two schools. It's the SWAC taking on the Big South. KJ Smith will get underneath it at the one and he'll bring it out. Fakes the pitch and he may have a lane. Middle of the field, he's finally taking down at about the 27 yard line. And here comes our first look at the North Alabama offense. Brian Christian Lopez trying to shake off last week's game where he threw three interceptions against Montana. Yeah, very un-Christian Lopez-like. Only two interceptions last year. As you see last week, three interceptions, also three touchdowns. Uh, 610 yards passing on the year. He's had a pretty good start to the year. You know he's excited to get back in the saddle here tonight. Last year against AM, it was Lopez's second ever game in a North Alabama uniform, he was 13 for 18 with 146 yards and two touchdowns. First play of the ball game for North Alabama, and a penalty marker comes out. Ball start. Offense. Number 15. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. And that's not how you want to start a game out. No, a lot of penalties last week on the road for the University of North Alabama, and that's another thing that they want to try to – They want to try to overcome that here tonight. Not That's not the start, you're right, that they wanted. So the Lions will work behind the sticks now, first and 15 on the game's opening drive. 
We'll get that one second off the clock. Dexter Boykin alone at the top of the formation. A trio of wide receivers to the right. They work to add the three seconds to the game clock. There we go. And now we'll get this first possession <laughs> started for North Alabama. A first down handoff to the senior Terrence Humphrey, who's from the Huntsville area, and he has nowhere to go. Yeah, nothing up the middle. Running behind the offensive line. Now the Lions tonight are without left guard Jacob Gentle, who was injured last week on the road at Montana. And it looks like into his place on the left side will be Noah Stern. Four wide receivers to the left this time for North Alabama. Again, a give to Humphrey. This time he scampers back close to the original line of scrimmage, but it will still be a long third down try right here. Humphrey got it going in the first week. Was over 100 yards and then not much, not much last year, or excuse me, last week on the road at Montana. They're trying to get this running game going early. Big third down here early in this game. Third down and 11, they're calling it. The first down to get is the 37. First pass of the game for Lopez, has time, airs it out. Boykin comes back and he has it. He's still on his feet. He won't go down. Dexter Boykin into Alabama A&M territory. That's that big play capability that UNA has and they like to use it early. You see here, good protection, good strong throw from Lopez and the big six foot three receiver goes back, pulls it in with his hands. You see, he didn't catch that ball up against his body. Again, the four wide receivers are in a box to the right. Here's Jacoby Bird on the screen, slips through one tackle, and he's finally brought down after a short pickup by Amir Berry to set up second down. One of our keys to success, Nice's pieces to success for A&M, was to limit these big plays, and North Alabama right off the bat goes deep. Jacoby Bird from right here in Florence, Alabama, had a big game last year against Alabama A&M. Seven catches, 65 yards, and two touchdowns, including the go-ahead game-winning score in the fourth quarter. So we see the Lions go tempo. Now they slow it down on second and six. Lopez gives to Humphrey. He finds the edge. He's at the 10, a sprint for the end zone. He's in, touchdown North Alabama. Terrence Humphrey got a great block, a ceiling block off the edge, and then showcased the speed. You'll see here, right off the edge there, great ceiling block. Look at the lineman blocking downfield. That's big number 78, Ethan McCullum. Look at that block, and then Terrence Humphrey just tiptoes into the end zone. A 19-yard touchdown run from Terrence Humphrey caps off a drive for North Alabama that began with a delay of game penalty. That's Joe Gurley in for the point after try. Jack Peavy to hold, Alston Underwood the snap. And the Lions miss the point after try. An odd start for North Alabama. The Lions have a penalty to open up. They still get six on the board, but you missed the extra point. But Brian, still a great way to start the ball game out for North Alabama. Yeah, it is. Great way to start the game. You talked about the penalty early on. Ugh, everybody's got their heads down. All right, let's get back at it. And that big play capability of the Lions, they've showcased it all year long. Uh, that's not something that, that uh, Alabama and him lost in film. They know that North Alabama has that capability. We talked about these receivers that UNA has. The big trio of Jacoby Bird, Andre Little, Dexter Boykin, and they can absolutely go get it. Throw Cortez Hall in that mix. It is a talented group of wide receivers, and they showcase that there on that first drive. Sam Contorno set to kick. Odeo Halar back deep to return for AM, so the Bulldogs will try to answer. North Alabama, the first time the Lions have scored on their opening drive this season. Contorno's kick is on the way. Hilaire gets underneath it around the 10. Brings it up the numbers. And he'll carry a defender across the 20. 
And here comes our first look at Alabama A&M, led by Akil Glass at quarterback. Yes, he is a special quarterback, has the size, has the build, six foot five, 215 pounds out of St. Louis, 374 yards per game. He's one of the FCS leaders as far as yards per game goes. He leads the swack in passing. He's a special quarterback. I've liked, liked watching him on film. He's a guy that can put up numbers quickly against you. This is an A&M offense that has had no trouble putting up points this season, averaging 34.5 points per game. Glass will work out of the shotgun formation to open up. Play action fake, and he's throwing on first down, and it's high for his intended wide receiver, working the new boundary. That's the freshman, Ibrahim, unable to bring it down. Good coverage over there on the edge by Will Singleton out of Hoover High School. You see him there. He's a special player in that secondary for UNA. Akil Glass trying to get acclimated here early on. Brian, we saw Glass throwing on the first play, and A&M short of man, Brian Jenkins, their leading wide receiver, out for this one. Now that'll be a big loss for them tonight. He's their go-to guy. The senior running back, Jordan Bentley, takes his first carry for a pickup of about four to set up a manageable third down. We're going to go back to Brian Jenkins, 5'8", 160-pound sophomore receiver out of Daytona Beach, injured his hamstring last week in their loss to Arkansas Pine Bluff, and Akil Glass will definitely miss him tonight. AM has struggled on third down this season, just 27.3 completion percentage on third down plays. Glass will have to check down. Watch Will Evans up the middle there showing blitz. He's backed out of it now. Glass on a slow snap will roll out, throws right. K.J. Smith and on the deflection, the pass intended for Zabrian Moore. Well, that's a good stand for UNH defense. Really not a lot shown there by UNA's, or excuse me, uh, Alabama A&M's offense. And the Lions get the football back here. K.J. Smith, a transfer from Georgia a season ago. He's on the game day program today. He had the game ceiling interception a season ago. And here's Spencer Corey on to punt. The junior handling pretty much all the kicking duties for A&M, averaging nearly 43 yards per punt. Jack Peavy back at his own 30. Corey barely gets it off. And that will take an A&M bounce. Look at that ball roll. Inside the 20, it's still going. And that will stop right on the 10-yard line. North Alabama will come out for their second drive of the game. When we come back from Florence, you're watching ESPN+. Plus. Rookie. When we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? Nobody does spicy chicken like Wendy's. And now, Spicy Nuggets are back. back so back. all hail the queen of spice. Hail the queen. That's right. Yeah. And get a free six piece when you mobile order through the app. We thought we lost everything in that fire. But my independent agent and auto owners made sure we were up and running fast. That's what mattered to us. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance.
Second drive of the ball game for North Alabama. The Lions lead it six to nothing. It's the 24th meeting between North Alabama and Alabama A&M. And Brian, the Lions used big plays on their first drive. Yeah, that's been their go-to all year long. Lopez barely gets it off in time. It's incomplete, but a penalty marker comes down. That time A&M got really good pressure up the middle. And Lopez just tried to get rid of it. Had a receiver there in the area, tried to get it to him, but I think this will be against the purple and gold. A signal hold. Holding. Offense number 58. That penalty is declined. Second down. Jake Whitehead, the guard, right guard, called for the hold. And A&M electing to decline the penalty to set up second and ten. You know, UNA struggled with penalties in the first half last week when they were out in Montana. So far the same here, early penalties. Lopez on second down. Another give to Humphrey who has one touchdown and he may be loose here. Trying to pull away from the defense, he's at midfield. Finally tackled into A&M territory. Terrence Humphrey rumbling down the sideline. Boy, Terrence Humphrey gets out in the open. He has got some speed to showcase, that is for sure. He got past that first wave of blockers you see there, and then he gets into the secondary, breaks a tackle, and they're lucky to wrap him up there at the very end. As you see here, he tries to get to the sideline. Another give to Humphrey on first and 10, a quick give. He scampers forward for a handful of yards to set up second down. Terrence Humphrey was asking to come out of the game and, and get a break, didn't get to. Now he'll come out and Ron Thompson will check into his spot. Terrence Humphrey from Huntsville, Alabama. Did not have an offer from A&M out of high school. Ron Thompson checks into the ball game. And look at the line of wide receivers to the right. Lopez will air it out right, looking for Cortez Hall. Leads him too much, incomplete pass to bring up third down. A&M read that play, they had it sniffed out from the beginning, and that's film watch, film study right there. They had that play sniffed out. Second down here for the Lions. Jack Peavy into the ball game. He's in the slot at wide receiver. Peavy, a true junior, he actually came in the same recruiting class as the four red shirt sophomore wide receivers that this UNA coaching staff is so big on. Those five players very talented at the wide receiver position. Can North Alabama get the third down here? A&M comes with the blitz. Lopez on the run. Dumps off to Thompson. And they call that incomplete. Alabama A&M gets the third down stop. Christian Lopez so good at keeping plays alive. You know he's got a bulldog breathing down his neck, but just couldn't get that one complete on the sideline. They might take a second look at it. We'll see if they do. Chris Willis taking a long thought. Joe Gurley trots out, but we'll see if he's trotting out to punt or kick the field goal. And he will look to punt. Alabama A&M getting some pressure against this North Alabama offense. A&M a season ago, 15th in the nation in sacks. This year they just have two in two games so far. Gurley will try to pin the Bulldogs deep. A high end over end kick. Can the punt team get there? It'll bounce inside the five and he'll pin them inside their own 10. Alabama A&M will try to answer North Alabama. It's the Lions of UNA leading it six to nothing. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. Are you looking for the best defense against termites, ants, and other pesky opponents? Call Bohannon Services at 256-764-2452 for a free pest and termite evaluation. Bohannon Services is family-owned and still dedicated with a winning strategy. With over 47 years of serving the Shoals area, Bohannon Services, family serving family since 1971, and a proud University of North Alabama supporter. Visit us on the web at bohannonservices.com. Are you looking for the ultimate UNA experience? Then make sure you stop by the University Bookstore. Shop your Lion Pride all season long for new fan gear. The University Bookstore has the latest hoodies, t-shirts, water bottles, hats, and accessories in brands like Under Armour, Columbia, and Champion. The University Bookstore is conveniently located on campus in the Commons. Not on campus? No worries. Shop any day or time at NorthAlabamaShop.com. Hold on to me. Don't let me go. Your first name is free.
freedom. Here at Fuller Heating, Air, Plumbing, and Electrical, we know when you're having a problem with your home, you want it fixed as soon as possible. That's why when you call Fuller, we show up at your home in a fully stocked truck, prepared to fix your heating, cooling, plumbing, or electrical systems today. And once we solve the problem, we'll leave your home just as clean, if not cleaner, than we found it. How's that for quality service? Contact Fuller Heating, Air, Plumbing, and Electrical today. Akil Glass back out trying to answer North Alabama. The Bulldogs trailing North Alabama six to nothing. A quick three and out on their first drive. See what they have in store right here. Glass play action fake and it's deflected at the line of scrimmage. Broderick Martin got the big ball up. Yeah, man, I'm really interested to see what they do here on offense. Like we said at the top of the broadcast, they're missing their go-to wide receiver with Brian Jenkins. Out with a hamstring injury, was injured last week. He's the leader in the heartbeat of this offense. We'll see how they do without him. Moving the football and scoring points has not been a problem for this A&M offense. The second down handoff goes to Bentley. He'll fall forward for a pickup of about three. Amir Postley in on the stop. You got to think without your leader on offense, Everybody's kind of looking around to see who's going to make that play. A&M really has to have somebody step up here. They're still way early in the game, but they need a big play here to especially get out of the shadow of their own goalpost. Empty back set on third down for a kill glass. Has time. Throws across the middle, and it's dropped. Zabrian Moore, the intended wide receiver, he would have had the first down. Will Evans in on the coverage. And again, the punt unit comes out. Yeah, Moore Jr. out of Tuscaloosa had to come back for that ball just a little bit. But again, that's what we're saying. The, the Bulldogs right now just look a little bit discombobulated on offense. Uh, somebody's going to have to step up and be the go-to guy. And last time, let's watch this punt. Spencer Corey, it took him a long time to get that punt off last time. Backed up against his own end zone here. UNA may put the rush on him. It was a short kick, but he got a good roll, a 63-yard punt the first time. His second kick, a high spiraling kick. Peavy will retreat back to the 40. Dangerous over-the-shoulder catch. And Peavy finds a lane up to the 45. And here comes the North Alabama offense once more. Marriott is the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference for the best rates. Book directly with Marriott by heading to BigSouthSports.com slash Marriott. And you will support Big South student athletes in the process. That's BigSouthSports.com slash Marriott. Man, go back to that punt out of his end zone. A really great punt there. A lot of times in that situation, you'll outkick your coverage. Great job by the A&M coverage team there of getting down there and making that tackle. I know it was an over-the-shoulder catch and a hard one to return, but credit where credit's due. Alabama A&M's kickoff co or, uh, excuse me, punt coverage team looked really good right there. That's Terrence Humphrey back in the game at running back on this first down play from midfield. Humphrey five carries, 77 yards, and a touchdown so far in this one. End around to Jacoby Bird. And he has nowhere to go, stretches it out of bounds. He may have lost yardage. That's a great job of sealing off the corner over there and then making Jacoby Bird the receiver who got the handoff. The boundary at that, uh, on that play becomes another defender. And a great job by the A&M defense to seal him off over there, not giving him, giving him the cutback opportunity. Officially a loss of one. It's Jacoby Bird in motion. Lopez. To throw, he'll step up and run for it. Penalty marker down, but Lopez has a lot of room. He'll race out of bounds, a first down pickup. A 23-yard gain, but let's see what the penalty marker is. Great downfield vision there by Lopez. It may come back. I'm not sure what the penalty will be, but Lopez immediately saw that he had the open. Offside, defense, number 57. The penalty's declined, first down. Offside's the call. The Lions decline, and the scamper takes it into A&M territory. Great job by Lopez of saying, hey, I've got a lane here right up the middle of the field, and I'll take what the defense gives me. That's exactly what he did. Another big play for North Alabama in this one, at least the third of 20 yards or more. Again, Jacoby Bird goes in motion. The wide receiver will stand in the backfield. 
Play action fake on first down. Lopez shot for the end zone, and it's nearly intercepted, underthrown. Corson Swan, the intended wide receiver. Trenton McGahee getting in on the breakup. And the linebackers for A&M really respecting the running ability right now of Terrence Humphrey. And they came up on that play and supplied run defense, and Christian Lopez had one-on-one -on, -one on the edge and a great job by the safety coming over and knocking that football away. Christian Lopez not showing much rust from last week's game against Montana. He still threw for 320 yards, but it was the three interceptions. He'll keep it on the run pass option, and that one is deflected. Again, it's Trenton McGee. Also, Mike Mills over there in the corner. He is a key cog in that Alabama A&M secondary, a three-year starter. I like this secondary of A&M. They are not afraid to challenge you and not afraid to take you on one-on-one. -on -one. A couple of different times, it's been a one-on-one -on -one situation for North Alabama's receivers, and A&M's corners have come out shining. They've played well so far. Even giving up that long pass, they played well. North Alabama one of two on third down so far today. Lopez, blitz comes, gets the pass off. Cortez Hall brings it in, but he'll be well short of the first down marker. Decision time for Chris Willis. Yeah, putting a little pressure on Lopez right there, making him get rid of the football early. Correction, that was Jacoby Bird in on the catch. And here comes the field goal unit. Joe Gurley will come out. A 40-yard try. Joe Gurley, three of three on this season. Jack Peavy, the holder. And North Alabama did not have enough men out. The Lions are forced to burn a timeout. Time out. North Alabama is first of the half. Second time that's happened for the Lions. I think that happened in the first game of the year here against Western Illinois. They had a runner player out late. Find the best variety of officially licensed merchandise and conference and school branded items at BigSouthStore.com. Gear up with some new apparel or find that perfect gift. Get fully equipped for all your game day fun with BigSouthStore.com. Brian, this UNA offense now 159 yards of total offense, but just six points to show with a field goal try on the way. Yeah, they need these points right here. you got to think sooner or later that this A&M offense with a kill glass at quarterback, they're good enough to bust one. So if you're North Alabama here, you definitely want to tack on these points and make it a two-score game. Gurley perfect from beyond 40 yards this season from the right hash. That kick is good, and the Lions tack three points up on the board. UNA leads Alabama A&M 9 to nothing. We'll take a break from Florence. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. Plus. Tech that helps you stay centered with available ProPilot Assist. Presenting the Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. Boom, upgraded. Honestly, it doesn't feel any different. You okay, bro? Rated E for everyone. Sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. Make a difference in your community, serving part-time in the Army National Guard.
Joe Gurley's 40-yard field goal puts North Alabama up nine to nothing. But another look, Connell Maynard, head coach for AM, was trying to get them to look at that one. Brian, the uprights extend to the heavens. <laughs> You're not going to find one closer than that. I mean, that's just oh, so close. But the official's right there underneath the goal post. You got to remember that. They're right there. They have the best look at it. And they called it good. Sam Contorno will kick off for North Alabama. Odeo Halar back deep to return. Halar from the 10. Jukes past one tackle. Tries to slither away from the UNA special teams unit. And here comes a kill glass back out. Brian, Alabama A&M, two drives, six plays, eight yards. Yeah, to kill glass, you mentioned him coming back out here. He's not completed a pass yet, 0 of 4. And, you know, I don't want to harp on Brian Jenkins being out, but he's their go-to receiver. He's the guy that you want on the field but not able to go tonight with the hamstring injury. Somebody's got to step up for this young uh, receiving core, this Alabama uh, A&M Bulldog offense. Akil Glass last year against North Alabama threw for 216 yards. Here he is on first and 10. The handoff goes to the speed running back, Gary Quarles. And he has a good pickup of yardage up to the 30 to bring up second down. Yeah, Quarles is a speedster. 5'6", 165-pound sophomore. Not a big guy. You see him there, but he can definitely rumble with the football out of Cottondale, Alabama. Quarles a dangerous return man as well. Again, he takes the handoff, and here he goes. Stumbles, can't keep his feet. Jeffrey Battle with perhaps a touchdown saving tackle, but AM moving the sticks now. I really like the way he runs. Low to the ground, like we said, only 5'6. It's hard to get down there underneath. Got to get pad leverage on him, and with that size, it's hard to do. He remains the running back. Now, two carries for 20 yards. Here's his third carry. Carries it up across the 45 yard line. Penalty markers come down. Now maybe a face mask here. Personal foul, face mask. Defense number 99. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, automatic first down. That's Broderick Martin, the red shirt sophomore. And that will carry AM into North Alabama territory for the first time today. Yeah, the Bulldogs trying to build a little confidence here, get things going. Their offensive coordinator, Dwayne Taylor, trying to find the right combination here. Can the run open up the pass for a kill glass? First and 10 from the North Alabama 40. Waltz the screen and it's there and immediately snuffed out by North Alabama. Cameron Young in on the catch. KJ Smith with the tackle. The last thing you want if you're the Bulldogs here is to have this drive bogged down when you put a few plays together and you're in Enemy territory here, you need points, down two scores. Still a lot of football left, but you want to build a little confidence on this drive. First completion of the game for a kill glass. He'll hand off to Quarles, trying to stretch it out wide. Look at him slip past a tackle, and he'll get close to the sticks. He'll set up a very manageable third down and two. Now Jeffrey Battle there and tried to get his pads underneath the runner. That's tough to do. We talked about how small Gary Quarles is. No way Battle could get underneath him. And he's got great balance as well. That's a good run. AM 0 for 2 on third downs today. They have it third and two here. Quarles, can he get by? Will Evans greets him. No, sir. North Alabama steps up. Well, a big call here for Alabama AM's offense. I think they're going to go for it. They've got a little confidence built on this drive. They've been uh, on the shoulders of the running back, Gary Quarles. I think they're going to line up and try to get this fourth down here. 31 yards on the ground on this drive. Two of five on fourth down this season. Scratch that three of four on fourth down this season. Glass with the hard count. Quarles is the running back. The pitch out wide. Quarles foot race battle. He got there in time. What a great job out on the edge by Jeffrey Battle. 
He read that play. I like the play call there from AM, but Jeffrey Battle just makes the play. Watch him come up here. They pitch it out to Coral's out on the edge. If Battle doesn't get him, it's a first down plus some. And what a great play by the redshirt sophomore out of Birmingham. Nothing going for Alabama AM. Three drives, two punts, and a turnover on downs. The flip side, North Alabama with 159 yards of total offense, but it's just a nine to nothing ball game. It is, but now A&M's built a little confidence. Yes, they didn't pick up that first down, but they can move the football on this uh, UNA defense. Christian Lopez, three of eight passing for 59 yards. Terrence Humphrey is the running back. He has 77 yards on the ground. Humphrey takes the handoff on first down, patiently waiting for his blockers. But Quantravis Kelly did not give him time. He barely makes it back to the line of scrimmage. UNA running on the short side of the field. That's the third or fourth time they've done that tonight. Obviously, Coach Ryan Applin, he's the offensive coordinator here for these Lions. He sees something on that short side of the field that he likes. Not much on that play, though. A&M last week gave up 301 rushing yards to Arkansas Pine Bluff. They've given up over 100 today to North Alabama, but Christian Lopez, he'll be sacked. Marcus Cushney getting back there. Just the third sack this year for this A&M defense, and Cushney came off of a blitz on the right side. Cushney, 6'2", 220 sophomore out of Broward County, Florida, brings down Christian Lopez, and it is hard to get to Lopez. That is a great job by the Fox, they call him. It's a defensive end position. They call him the Fox position. Third down here for the Lions. The first down to get for North Alabama is the 42. They want to set up the screen. Here's Jacoby Bird. Can he run for the sticks? Armani Holloway chases him out of bounds, and the junior leader of this defense forces the fourth down. I'd love to know what the thought process is here for uh, UNA running on the short side of the field. Obviously, they see something that they like, but A&M has defended that well, and they should get the football back here with pretty good field position. And look, who's returning that punt? It's Gary Quarles. We know what kind of runner and returner he is right now. North Alabama struggled on their punt return coverage last week, giving up a long touchdown return. Joe Gurley on to punt. On the season, averaging 44 yards a kick. Quarles will have to retreat, and he drops it. Ball is down. North Alabama has it. David Swin in on the recovery. Big time mistake there from Quarles. Just let that ball go right through his hands, and the Lions right there. That's something to get this crowd fired up on the home side. An end over end punt. Had to backpedal, you see, a little bit. A play that he's got to catch 10 times out of 10, but it goes right through his hands. And Johnny on the spot, David Swin, as you talked about, recovering the fumble. North Alabama in business right here. First and 10 from the 19-yard line, a red zone possession. And that's something that UNA, they have not had a lot of this year. The red zone is not a place on the field where they've been a lot of times this year. They're trying to get a score in the red zone. They've only been there four times so far this season. Since breaking the century mark on the ground, the Lions have lost four yards rushing. Two men in the backfield with Lopez. The running back on the carry will be Jackson Carson, and he can't stretch it out wide. He'll pick up one, maybe two yards to bring up second down. Great job by Adrian Portlock. He's the Sam linebacker, strong side linebacker, stringing that out. He's got the only interception for the A&M defense this year, but that time a great job coming up on run support. North Alabama. And their week one win over Western Illinois really got going on a special teams turnover. Can they do it here again against Alabama A&M? Second and nine. Lopez can't escape. He goes down for the second time today. Mason Ellis with the second sack. That is a great job by the A&M defense. They know they've got to get pressure on Christian Lopez. And they do. See here, right up the middle, there comes the pressure. Lopez tries to get out of it, but he can't do it. Two sacks coming into the game tonight for the entire A&M defense. Two in this game tonight. That's big. A season ago, they were 15th in all of FCS football with 32 sacks. 
First down to get is the 10 yard line. It's third and 14. Delayed handoff to Carson. And again, Armani Holloway with another third down tackle. If you're the Bulldog defense right now, you have got to be proud of yourselves. And if you're wearing an A&M hat over there, you gotta be proud of your team. They have really stepped up defensively. I know they're down nine to nothing, but here in this four, first quarter, they've had their backs against the wall a lot of this first quarter and they've handled it well. Joe Gurley on for the field goal try. He's already connected from 40. We think. <laughs> a 39 yard try right here. This one is up and it splits the uprights. North Alabama goes up 12 to nothing for Brian Alabama A&M, the defense got a lot to be proud of on that drive. Yes, sir, they do. They Their backs were against the wall, and they had to come out, step up, and make a play, and they've done that. Now they're down 12 to nothing. The offense has got to get rolling here. Akil Glass has got to come out. They found a little bit of uh, uh, offense on the last drive before it stalled out. They've got to find it again. They really need points on the board here in this first quarter. For the best in Big South Conference coverage, visit BigSouthSports.com. Stay current with the latest news, results, stats, standings, and much more. Enjoy video features showcasing remarkable student athletes or connect to school sites or social media outlets all from one place. Remember, the source for all your conference information is BigSouthSports.com. 12 to nothing, our score, 67 seconds left here in this opening quarter. What will A&M have in store? Three drives for the Bulldogs. They've gone punt, punt, turnover on downs. They have 40 total yards, 39 of which have been on the ground. You go back to the A&M defense here on that last drive, three, uh, minus three yards for Alabama A&M's offense. Now this, this Bulldog defense, they're for real. Sam Contorno will kick from the right hash. Hilar will get underneath it around the five. Up ended and the football came out. North Alabama signals they have it. They pull bodies out. No signal yet. It's North Alabama football. It was recovered by the kicking team, first down. David Swin recovered the first fumble, and we think he forced this one right here. Actually, that was A.J. Bracey. Swin on the recovery again. Yeah, Bracey knocked it out. Swin was right there, Johnny on the spot. Boy, and I'll tell you what, we've talked about how good A&M's defense has been. Here they are again, backs up against the shadow of their own goal post. They've got to be big again here. 101 left in this opening quarter, North Alabama football. Trickery here, misdirection. Andre Little on the handoff, and he's hit hard as he crosses the line of scrimmage for a pickup of one. I like that play. It just takes a while to get going there. Not much room to run there, and credit A&M's defense. They didn't fall for the trickery. I love a play like that, and if it works, you, you look like a, a, a genius. That play just took too long to develop. Christian Lopez, four of nine passing, 64 yards. Dexter Boykin alone to the right side of the formation. The handoff to Thompson. Cuts back behind a block. Runs over a defender, crosses the 15, a first down run for North Alabama. Yeah, Ron Thompson not afraid to lower the head and bump noggins with the big boys down there. He's not a big back, 5'6", 193 pounds, but not afraid to lower the shoulder. Again, Armani Holloway in on the stop. North Alabama will let the clock strike zero. The Lions have the football when we come back. It's the 24th all-time meeting between North Alabama and Alabama A&M. And the Lions of UNA lead the Bulldogs 12 to nothing. You're watching Big South Football on ESPN+. Plus.
You know what today is? Today is somebody's first day of work. There'll be nothing perfect about it. Because nothing's given, except maybe a nickname like Waterboy or Broken Windshield Guy. Out here, you gotta earn it. The same way this Carhartt jacket has to earn the right to be on your back. Just don't forget the tag, rookie. Carhartt, we've got your back 24-7. We thought we lost everything in that fire. But my independent agent and auto owners made sure we were up and running fast. That's what mattered to us. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. The Alabama A&M band made the trek over from Huntsville, Alabama, but North Alabama through one leads it 12 to nothing. The Lions hand off to Thompson, and he'll trot into the end zone from 14 yards out. The Lions answer on the special team's turnover to open up the second quarter. Yep, Ron Thompson's first touchdown of the year. He just follows behind the right side of that offensive line. And pokes it into the end zone, big score there for the Lions. You see he a little bit of a hole to run through on the right side there, but enough for him. Thompson with his first career touchdown as a Lion. Jack Peavy brings a man in motion, and the Lions will go for two. Peavy plunges ahead. Did he cross the goal line? Joe Gurley seemed to think he did. They're still pushing the scrum. And they're saying he did not cross. Chris Willis wanting them to look at this one. But nonetheless, the Lions lead at 18 to nothing. Brian, you go back to the last two drives. Alabama A&M got some stops, but then special teams turnovers result in North Alabama going up 18 to nothing. Another look at Jack Peavy's plunge right here. Yeah, that's tough. I, I don't know that there's enough there to reverse it. If you back it up, you see that his back was up against the goal line. I just don't know that the football crossed it. It's close. Peavy's father, a high school football coach in Georgia. He played college football at Jacksonville State. Jack Peavy electing to attend the University of North Alabama. There's a look at UNA head coach Chris Willis in his third year as head football coach. Longtime defensive coordinator. He's leading this UNA team through this Division I transition. This is year number two for North Alabama as the school moves from a Division II power First year as a member of the Big South Conference. They expected a big time turnout tonight and Brawley Stadium is packed. Well, hats off to the fans here in Florence. You're right, they have come out and packed Brawley here. And I'll tell you what, they've got a special program that is building here as part of the FCS in Division I. I think 
the opportunities here for North Alabama are huge. I mean, the sky is the limit as far as the FCS goes. And the fan base here in Florence, they've got something to be proud of. And uh, that guy right there, Chris Willis, is the leader of this team. And I tell you what, a lot of coaches in FCS don't know that I'd want many more than him. Adeo Halar and Abdul Ibrahim back deep to return for A&M. Sam Contorno, the freshman, will kick off to the two freshman return men. Halar from the three. Room to run out wide. Here he goes in space. Foot race to the sideline, and he's finally shoved out of bounds in Alabama A&M. We'll have some of their best field position today. And they've really got to get something going here. They have one yard passing so far, and that is not a kill glass like. I credit uh, UNA's defense. They've done a great job of bottling it up, but I think Akil Glass right now really missing Brian Jenkins. And Brian, this A&M offense averages 374 yards passing. Their first two games against Morehouse, they threw for 397. Against Arkansas Pine Bluff, 352. Akil Glass, as you mentioned, one of five for one yard. Well, sometimes it just takes a little spark to light the fire. That's what they're looking for. Jordan Bentley, the running back. 39 of the Bulldogs, 40 total yards have come on the ground. Glass, pump fake, throws underneath. Broderick Martin deflects it, and Glass was very close to going down. Second deflection for the big fella, Broderick Martin. Yeah, Brady Owensby was giving chase there. The fifth-year senior right there in the middle, Owensby, 6'2", 276 pounds, was breathing down the neck of Akil Glass. And so far, Glass tonight, only one completion for one yard. This is a revamped North Alabama defensive line, but right there it's the two returnees, Brady Owensby, the senior, and Broderick Martin, the redshirt sophomore, with the pressure. Glass, empty back set on second and ten. Again under pressure. He'll have to roll out and just throw towards the sideline. Pass falls incomplete. Intended wide receiver at Dual Ibrahim. Now the defensive line using some stunts there. Devontae Tolles came up the middle. He's a pass rusher off of the edge, but that time came from the middle, and nobody got a fingertip on him. Alabama A&M today 0 for 3 on third downs. This is a North Alabama defense that's been very stout on third down. Opponents just 8 for 26 on the season. Glass, time to throw, throws right. Diving attempt. Did he complete the catch? That's the freshman, Abdul Ibrahim, and they signal incomplete. UNA went with a three-man front there. And they will rule it incomplete. They might take another look at it. Good throw there from Akil Glass, but a little bit low there. Akil Glass standing on the field, past the line of scrimmage, almost in disbelief. Another three and out for Alabama a and It's their third three and out. They also had a turnover on downs earlier. Akil Glass still out there and begging the officials to take another look at it, but he'll try it off. Third punt of the day for Spencer Corey. Averaging 58 yards per kick. Jack Peavy back at his own 25. A spiraling kick, Peavy signals for the fair catch, and North Alabama will have it at their own 28-yard line when we get back. The Lions blanking the Bulldogs. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. Plus. I won it. I can't believe it. The cow brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. Believe it, GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance.
Musco Lighting. We make it happen. University of North Alabama, graduating champions. Bone plug. Hotel brands, endless experiences, rewards reimagined. North Alabama shutting out Alabama AM 18 to nothing. Christian Lopez for North Alabama back out after the AM punt. A first down handoff to Ron Thompson. Nowhere to go. Selma Russell leads the stop. A loss of one. UNA really using the running game here to set up the pass. We saw that on their first drive where a couple of runs and then they tried to air it out downfield and they were successful on it. Pine Bluff last week had some success off of those zone runs. UNA definitely saw that on film. Lopez on second down. Quick throw right in space. Finds his receiver. That's Andre Little on the catch. Quan Travis Kelly brings him down. There's another first down for North Alabama. Well, Christian Lopez and these receivers, they just make it look so easy sometimes. It's just pitch and catch. And I know that it's not that easy, but they really do a good job of making it look so simple when it's really not. Andre Little and the other three redshirt sophomore wide receivers so far in a season and three games now of football, 170 combined catches. They still have two more years of eligibility after this one. Thompson, again a first down run, again nowhere to go. Quan Travis Kelly once again stepping up. Yes, sir. Kelly, that big middle linebacker, they call him the Mike linebacker, comes in there and stuffs that run. Nothing going there for the running game. He was, uh, they're going to mark him. That's a loss of about three. Again, North Alabama behind the sticks on second down. A&M's down 18 to nothing, but Brian, the defense hasn't played too bad. A couple of big plays from North Alabama. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we've talked about them, how well they played. It would be a dagger if UNA were to score on this drive. Jack Peavy's in the ball game in the slot left. Lopez wants to wind down the field. Cortez Hall in traffic dropped it. Well, that's a heck of a try there by Cortez Hall coming back over the defender, trying to reach behind him and making the catch. Just unable to do it. Cortez Hall on this season averaging 48.8 yards per catch. 48.8. I did not stutter. Nearly 50 yards per catch. This is a special receiving core. I mean, I would put the talent of this receiving core up against anybody at the FCS level. Can the Lions get the long third down right here? One of five today. First down to get is the 48. They're calling it third and 13. Pressure comes, Lopez has to try to escape. Throws back high. Andre Little was the intended wide receiver. A dangerous play, but again, the A&M defense with another third down stop. Credit Amir Berry, weak side linebacker, a freshman out of Georgia, giving pressure. And you're right, that was a dangerous pass there from Christian Lopez. He had a couple of those picked off last week at Montana, we saw, and that one very well could have been. Gary Quarles again, back deep to return. Don't forget, he had a fumble the last time he went back. That set up the 39-yard field goal from North Alabama. Joe Gurley gets off a high kick. He launched that one. Quarles backs up to his own seven. Cuts up middle of the field, steps out of a tackle. Jordan Robinson tackles him, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Probably going to be a block in the back against A&M, and then they'll really be in the shadow of their own goal post after this penalty. When you
When you're down 18 to nothing, you can't have special teams During the problems. return, illegal block in the back on the receiving team, number 10. That's half the distance to the goal, first down. So the Bulldogs will back it up. When we come back, they'll try to put some points on the board. It's North Alabama out in front. We'll break for Florence. It's Big South Conference football. Only is when we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? Hey, my name is George, and I love the Chick-fil-A Grill Nuggets. It's like me grilling at home. It tastes very similar to that, except the seasoning. I, I probably can't season it as well as uh, Chick-fil-A does. The chicken's super tender and honestly, the best nuggets I've ever tasted. Boom, upgraded. Honestly, it doesn't feel any different. You okay, bro? Rated E for everyone. Alabama A&M searching for points here in the second quarter, trailing by 18. Dangerous position right here, first and 10 from their own six-yard line. Akil Glass will try to get breathing room on the handoff to Jordan Bentley, slips through, picks up about nine yards to set up second and short, and the Bulldogs go tempo. Yeah, a little tempo offense trying to change things up. They need something here on this drive. Still just one yard through the air. They're moving the sticks on the ground. Bentley has the first down across the 20. I like this change of pace here, keeping UNA on their heels. Sticking with the tempo, a third straight give to Bentley. Bounces it outside, another lane. Steps out of a tackle across the 30. A first down run, so a drive that started at their own six. They've now moved it 25 yards to the 31. Yeah, I like it. Keep going with it. That's working right now. If you're A&M, you need points on this drive. Bentley remains the running back. If you're a bulldog here, that stoppage right there, you do not want that. Can they find that fast tempo rhythm again? Bentley remains the running back. He's had three straight gives now. Let's make it four, this time running right, and look at that stick, DeAndre Hart and Jalen Dredd combining. That's the first time you've mentioned Jalen Dredd's name tonight, and he came in and made himself known quickly. Sixth in the Big South in tackles, fourth among the linebackers in the league, and he is not afraid to come up and stick you. Transfer from South Carolina, he made his presence known quickly. Still a pickup of three from Bentley, who's carried it four times on this drive alone. Second down and seven. A fifth straight give to Bentley. And he'll fall forward, a pickup of maybe three to bring up third down. I'll tell you what, whatever they've seen uh, that they uh, are using here on this drive, running the football, it has worked. They are in the shadow of their own goal post and all of a sudden inching out toward midfield. The Bulldogs, 0 for 4 on third down today. They need to get it to the 41. 
Glass throws it out to Bentley. He's been the man on this drive. They've been riding him. He has the first down. Will Evans carries him down to the ground. Let's see if the Bulldogs go back tempo. Big tackle there by Will Evans. That play was going to go for a lot more had he not been able to wrap him up. Bulldogs getting yardage in chunks right now. The first third down conversion for AM. Glass fakes the give, throws out left in space. It's the big tight end, Kendrick Johnson, six foot three, 235 pounds, just the second completion from Akil Glass. Yeah, I like Kendrick Johnson a lot. He is first team all swack preseason player. Great job on this offense, averaging 8.9 yards per catch. Staring at a second and six right here. First down to get is the 44 from midfield. And I think North Alabama has called a timeout. Chris Willis wants to bring his defense off the field. This drive, Brian, started at the A&M six-yard line, and they've carried it to midfield primarily on the ground. Yes, uh, they have used the ground game extensively on this drive right here, and it has worked. Get social with the Big South. Join the always growing network of Big South fans of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. You can also follow the conference source for game day updates and on-site championship coverage via Twitter at Big South Game Day. Follow, watch, like, and share with the Big South Conference. Alabama A&M, 85 total yards, 71 of that coming on the ground. And I was watching defensive coordinator Stedman Campbell in that huddle, and his defensive troops got an earful that time. I'll tell you what, A&M has found their mojo here, and it's been on the ground. We'll see how they come back out on this second down play. Jordan Bentley now seven carries 40 yards and glass. We'll work with an empty back set right here on second down. Quick throw outright. Pass is caught. Jacob Cummings on the tackle. Hilaire with the catch. And that's a first down and a completion for a kill glass who's had a tough go so far. Yes, he has, but he's trying to find his groove. Little short plays, little quick passes, get the ball out of his hands. Nice drive here put on by the Bulldogs. Jordan Bentley back in the backfield. This drive into North Alabama territory. Play action fake, the throw outright. It's the tight end Johnson. Hit as he goes out of bounds. A pickup of three, maybe four yards. A little bit chippy right there on that sideline, and I think there is a UNA player injured, and it looks like that's Jeffrey Battle. And it looks like Johnson's down beside yep, him as right. well, side by side. I don't know if Battle is the one who made the tackle. So many bodies right there. Jeffrey Battle, a red shirt sophomore. He stepped into that starting safety spot that Chris Johnson had a season ago. And we'll find out what's going on when we come back. From Florence, North Alabama leads Alabama A&M 18 to nothing. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. Plus. It can seem unreachable at first. The bar too high, shoes too big. You'll take leaps of faith and fall on your face. But you'll get up. Hard work is 50 sprints before breakfast and another 54 breakfast. You'll eat it, breathe it, sleep it. The Goodyear blimp doesn't show up for just anybody. So don't be just anybody. Be blimp worthy. Goodyear. More driven. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? In 1979, Jiffy Lube changed everything by providing the first convenient oil change service. Millions of satisfied customers later, we're still who you trust. Jiffy Lube, you can do more in a Jiffy. Nobody does spicy chicken like Wendy's. And now, spicy nuggets are back. Bring them back, bring 
So all hail the Queen of Spice. Hail the Queen. That's right. Yeah. And get a free six piece when you mobile order through the app. Bring them back. Bring them back. from Florence, North Alabama, leading Alabama A&M 18 to nothing, the 24th all-time meeting between these two scores. Before we went to break, Jeffrey Battle and Kendrick Johnson were both banged up. They were both off the field and being attended to, but it's Alabama A&M with the football, finding some rhythm, Akil Glass. Now five of 12 for 25 yards. He'll throw on second down. Takes a shot deep down the field, bobbled and caught. That's Abdul Ibrahim on the catch. That's a big time catch out on the edge. Ibrahim coming back and making that play. And I'll tell you what, we talked about A&M trying to find their groove, and I think they have done that on this drive. This drive started at their own six. They have it at the North Alabama six. The seventh give, no. Glass keeps it. Wallace Cowens chases him down. K.J. Smith finishes him off. Well, UNA defense sniffed that one out. Your A&M, you have to come away with points here. You have got, I mean, yes, the field goal is okay, but you really need a touchdown here to build some confidence before the half here. The Bulldogs do get the football back That's to open right. up the That's second right. half. First time in the red zone today for the Bulldogs. First and goal from the eight. Glass on the play action, throws underneath to the big tight end. He's tackled for a pickup up to the six. Jacob Cummings, the man to bring him down. Yeah, Jacob Cummings followed that play very well. The redshirt freshman out of Auburn having none of it. And here you are, A&M, you cannot let this drive stall. Big third down here. They really need to convert. This may be four down territory. Third down Six to go for the score. One for five on third downs today. And the Bulldogs get points. Glass out of the gun. Bentley the running back. He'll run up the middle. One on one. He's upended at the two. K.J. Smith again there leading the charge. Wow. And what a decision here. You want points. You don't want to come away empty here. You really need the touchdown. I think they're going for it. They are. The Bulldogs entered today, three of four on fourth down. They're 0 for 1 today. Bentley, the running back. Glass has two receivers to the left. He's throwing for the end zone over the head of the intended wide receiver. That was Zabrian Moore and a drive that started on their own six-yard line, ends on the two-yard line, knocking on the door for points. Well, the UNA defense bends, but they do not break. That's a great stand there on the goal line and a tough uh, come away with no points there for A&M. Heartbreaking over there on that sideline in the white. The second turnover on downs from Alabama A&M. And now North Alabama will have it. Close to their own end zone. They'll try to go 98 yards right here. First and 10 from their own two. Play clock running. They got to get out here and quickly and go with it. Christian Lopez today, 5 of 12, passing 75 yards. And he's been sacked twice. He'll open up under center. Hands off to Humphrey. Dangerous space right there. He's going to lose yardage back to the one. Yeah, you got to be real careful here with what you do with the football. I see Christian Lopez get behind one of those big guys up front and get just as much as he can here. The ball is on the one. Lopez with a long look to the sideline. Play clock winding. He'll work five yards deep out of the gun. Play action fake. Has time, wants to take a shot. Down the field, Dexter Boykin, did he complete it? 
He did not. Tell you what, two things you got to be careful of. You don't want to throw an interception down on this end of the field. Another thing, if you're a lineman, you cannot hold. That's a safety in the end zone. Great job there by the Lions of not doing either one, and now you just get what you can here. A dangerous third down situation right here. Third down and 11. First down to get is the 12. Lopez will stand in his own end zone. Again, the Lions run the play clock down. Lopez will have to hurry with one second. He did not get it off in time. He was forced to call the timeout. Did he get it? What a spot to be in for North Alabama. Third down and 11. Ball on the one-yard line. And, and, Brian, you really might have to think about giving Joe Gurley some room to punt. Yeah, I mean, you're backed up against your own end zone. You saw the clock there was 6.08. I think if you're A&M here, yeah, you built a little confidence on that last drive, and you've got all three timeouts to work with here. So A&M sitting pretty as far as this next drive goes, and they desperately need points. Early on, the Lions were moving the ball on the ground. Terrence Humphrey, seven carries, 76 yards. He had a 52-yard run. Christian Lopez, just five of 13 for 75 yards. An odd game for North Alabama. You're moving the football, but just 18 points on the board. You kind of feel like you could have more. If you're A&M, do you risk it here? You go for the blocked punt. Lopez, five yards deep in his own end zone. Brings Boykin in motion. He'll roll out. Throws on the run. Cortez oh. Hall spins out of a tackle. He'll have the first down and some. How about that? UNA coming out and saying, hey, we're not going to punt it away. We're just going to roll it out here and pick up a first down. That's huge for UNA. Keeps the drive going. The second third down conversion for North Alabama today. And the Lions in no hurry on this drive. We see them go NASCAR pace a lot, slowing it down. I don't think they look as crisp either when they slow it down a little bit. So Christian Lopez has room to work this time. Jacoby Bird, the motion man. A high snap. Hand off to Humphrey. Here he goes. Tackled across the 25-yard line up to the 26, a first down run. And that gets Humphrey up near the 100-yard mark, I would think. Had a couple of big runs early in this game. Right at 84 now, so he's approaching the 100-yard mark. Still plenty of time, five minutes, but no timeouts left here for UNA on this drive. North Alabama averaging 6.4 yards per carry on the ground. They have a short second down right here. Again, Lopez will keep it, rolls out, throws on the run, and he'll just have to throw this one away. Great job of Lopez just getting rid of the football, and there is an injured lion, as you see there, down on the field. Marquise Price applying the pressure. That's Jake Whitehead down on the ground. No correction, that's Zach Davis, the South Alabama transfer. This is a North Alabama offensive line already playing down one starting lineman in Jacob Gentle, who's week to week. Had their backup center in on this drive, Dawson Cazola. And now if your starting left tackle goes down, you're really getting deep into that too deep with offensive linemen. Yeah, that's not a, a position where they're uh, really that deep. It's a position where they need folks to stay healthy. And Zach Davis is a big guy on that offensive line, six foot six, 308 pounds senior out of nearby Rogersville. And hopefully he's all right. The 24th all-time meeting between these two schools, North Alabama has won nine straight in this series. A&M's last win in the series came back in 1988, a 17-16 win. North Alabama's head coach at the time was Bobby Wallace. That was his first season. He went on to win three national championships in the early 90s. 
But this historic rivalry now set to be played just about every year. Good sign, Zach Davis walks off the field underneath his own power. We'll have to see who's in the ball game now at tackle. But the Lions have it, third down and two from the 26. The first down to get is the 28. And the Lions might have had too many men on the field. Sure Offense. did, substitution infraction. 12 players in formation. Five yard penalty, still third down. So third and three, Ben goes to third and long here. So Noah Stern will move out to right tackle. Chris Willis upset, third and two, turns to third and seven, as you just mentioned. Coming out of the timeout, the injury timeout, not ready. Third penalty of the night, I think, for A&M, or excuse me, for UNA. North Alabama, two of seven on third down. The Lions came out clicking in the first quarter yeah. here in the second quarter, just not a lot of rhythm, but a lot of that has to do with this A&M defense. They have two sacks already today. Will they come for Lopez? They bring an extra man. Lopez steps up on the run. Penalty marker comes down, and Lopez is sacked. Silmar Russell takes him down, the third sack of the day for Alabama A&M. And that penalty flag in the area of holding. You holding. Think. Yep. Offense, number 21. That penalty is declined, fourth down. If you're A&M right here, you have got to take advantage of this. You're going to get the football back, or you should here, in pretty good field position. Dangerous return man back there with Gary Quarles. He can do some special things with the football. A&M has to get something going right here. North Alabama 10 points off of special teams turnover. So you, you really look, this defense, I'll say, has only given up eight true points. They've gotten stops, but their special teams did not help them out. And will the Bulldogs come for it? Joe Gurley out of his own end zone. The Lions have given up one block already this season. Gurley, look at that kick spin. Quarles. At the 36, dances around in the holder. The snapper, rather, Alston Underwood in on the stop. And now it's time for the A&M offense to get moving. You had a drive that started at your own six. You took it down to the two, and you have no points up on the board. What a great job by Gurley. That punt totally flipped field position right there. Gurley a missile from his own end zone. And tell you what, I was talking about A&M getting good field position. Joe Gurley said no. Not as good as you thought. Alabama A&M entered this ball game being outscored 24 to seven in the second quarter. They've put up points in pretty much every quarter this season in offense that averages 34 points per game. But just seven total second quarter points this year. Here's a kill glass, first and 10. He'll keep it. He'll plunge for a pickup of two. Brady Owens be leading the stop. Glass took a shot right there. Yes, he did. If you're the A&M coaching staff over there, you just hold your breath when you see a quarterback take a shot, especially from big Brady Owens be right there in the middle. You see Coach Maynard right there trying to fire his troops up a little bit. They need something off of this offense. Bentley, the running back. He was the man on the last drive. Motion man, Glass keeps it dangerous. Here's Bentley in space. Broderick Martin chases him down from behind, but a first down pickup for the senior running back. Great job by Akil Glass. Lions breathing down his neck. Gets that pass off somehow, and they move the chains. Clock running here, 325 and change running. The Bulldogs get the football back to start the second half. Here they go with tempo again. They had success earlier. Bentley on the give. He has a lane. Here he goes, he has the first down and some tackled from behind. Devontae Tolles chases him down. The running game has really worked here in this second half, excuse me, second quarter. They picked up a lot of yardage on these last two drives on the ground. So far, 76 yards now on the ground. Glass again goes tempo, two running backs this time. Halar, the motion man. More motions out. Glass wants the screen, goes underneath to the tight end, Johnson, and he drops it. The UNA caught a break right there. A kill Glass going through his check downs. Nobody was open. And a pretty good pass there to Kendrick Johnson across the middle. 
Johnson just can, could not hang on to the football there. That's his second drop tonight. A&M now with 90 yards on the ground. Gary Quarles is the running back. He has six carries for 31. He's the speed back. The dangerous pass, Wallace Cowan. Ran right into it and deflected it. I'm surprised he didn't catch it. Yeah, I am too. I mean, it, you're right. It was deflected in the backfield. That play just looks shaky from the start. Now a big third down for A&M. They've got to come back here and get something on this play. If you're going to go for it, and I think they will in four down territory here, you need four, five, six yards on this play and make it fourth and manageable if they decide to go for it. The Bulldogs just one of six on third down against this North Alabama defense today. First down to get is the 28. Glass delayed handoff. Corals can't escape. He makes it back to the original line of scrimmage. And is it four down territory right here, Brian? I, I don't know. I mean, you want to make something happen. But if you give UNA the football back at this spot, still two minutes and change, I think they're going to punt it away here. Spencer Corey comes out. I think that's the right call. I think in this situation, you got to try to flip the field position a little bit. And if UNA wants to try to tack on another score before the half, they got to go the length of the field to do it. Spencer Corey's had a busy evening so far. Three punts, a 51-yard average with a long of 63. Can he pin the Lions deep? Delay of the game, kicking team. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Bulldogs take the five-yard penalty, but not a bad thing right here. Yeah, back it up five yards, give your punter a little bit more room here. Will the Lions come for it? Jack Peavy back at his own 10. Again, whistles. Penalty marker down. And back it up another five here. False start. Kicking team number 10. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. A false start. False start on the snap. Not necessarily a bad thing. No, but if you're. Set the game clock to one minute, 50 seconds. One minute, 50 seconds. Thank you. You're putting the football away here. You're giving Jack Peavy, who's the return man back there, a little more room to return the punt now. The third try for Spencer Corey. Peavy still standing at his own 10. Corey gets off a high kick. That will be short. Bounces high at the 25. North Alabama has to clear out. The 10 yards and penalties would have been nice if you didn't have it right there on that punt. So here comes North Alabama. First and 10. First and 10 from their own 22 yard line. 140 to play. In this first half, you're leading Alabama AM by a score of 18 to nothing. You got time to drive down the field. Maybe extend this lead out. You know, this first half really has had no flow to it all for either side. I mean, UNA had a drive going early. I think they were starting to get in a groove a little bit, but neither team has had much of a flow. A&M tried to get into a little bit of a rhythm on their last two drives, but they just couldn't do it. Christian Lopez, 6 of 15, passing 92 yards. The handoff to Thompson. He has nowhere to go. Armani Holloway finishing him off. Another tackle for loss from this A&M defense. Alabama A&M is first of the half. A&M going to try to save some time right here and get the football back. They haven't done anything with it tonight as far as putting points on the board, but they want to at least try to get one more shot at it. Brian, this A&M defense has given up the yardage this season. 436 in the game one win over Morehouse. 632 last week in the loss to Arkansas Pine Bluff. 301 on the ground. 331 through the air. They've given up yardage in chunks to this North Alabama offense. UNA with 200 total right here, but they're making plays, third down stops, sacks, pressuring Christian Lopez, not making it easy for him. And that's right. He has not had it easy. Uh, you talked about his stats, 6 of 15, 92 yards, a very 
unchristian Lopez like stat line. Look at the stat line from last week when we were on the road at Montana, 300 yards passing, and they were up by one. So this team has done it in a different way here tonight, and it's been because of the defense. Officially a loss of six on that play. Second and long. Bird the motion man. Lopez under pressure, throws right. Boykin has it go through his hands to Willie Wilson applying the coverage. I'll tell you what, that's a dangerous pass. Had Wilson been a half a step in front of that, he could have picked it off and took it to the house. Watch out for the A&M defense right here on third down and long. Eight tackles for loss and three sacks in this first half so far. You and a two of eight on third downs here in this one. First down to get the 33-yard line. Third and 16. If you're A&M and you get a stop here, you can get the football back. Lopez has time. Airs it out down the field. He has Cortez Hall. Did he maintain the catch? If he did, it's a first down. He did a first down for North Alabama. Just a little out pattern out there toward the boundary and a great job of Cortez Hall making the catch. You'll get another look at it here. Extends out the arms, makes the catch, goes to the ground, flips his body so he doesn't land on the football. Great job. Pressure comes, Lopez goes Temple again, down the middle of the field, Jacoby Bird, the intended wide receiver. Incomplete pass. Almost looked like Bird broke off the route right there. We do have an injured Bulldog down in the secondary, and that looks like a cramp. Don't forget, coming up at the half, we have the Geico Halftime Report. We have a first half recap, a feature story, highlights, and more. 18 to nothing, our score, but Brian, this second quarter makes you feel like it's been a much closer ball game than the score indicates. It does, and if you're A&M, if you can keep UNA out of the end zone here, you gotta feel pretty good. I mean, yes, you're down 18 points, but you get the football back, number one, begin the second half. Number two, on your last couple of drives, you've moved the football, you've gotten some uh, production from your offense. You just, you know, a couple of times the, draw, the drive stalled. They were kept out of the end zone right there on the goal line. So, you know, I don't think it's all bad for Alabama A&M right now. You and A, boy, if you can punch one in here before the half, that would be huge. Make it a 25-point uh, lead before the half. Big minute and six seconds left here. Adrian Portlock, the starting safety, trots off the field. The team's second leading tackler entering this one. Coach Maynard has singled him out several times this year. It's just strong play defensively. Christian Lopez, second down and 10. Jacoby Bird comes across the formation. Lopez has to roll, and he'll just have to throw this one away. Again, this A&M defense making life difficult for Christian Lopez. Yes, they did, and if you can eliminate the big play here on third down, from this North Alabama offense. You're going to get the football back. You have less than a minute to work with the football here. But with that uh, incompletion right there, a and doesn't have to burn one of their final timeouts. They've got two left. North Alabama today on third down. Three of nine. They have one already on this drive. Dexter Boykin alone to the top of the formation. Now he'll be joined by Jacoby Bird. Again, the blitz comes. Lopez pump fakes, steps up, and the pass is batted down. He was looking for Dexter Boykin. And again, to Will A. Wilson in on the stop. And that's two that Wilson had an opportunity to intercept, come back and knock the football away. And now here you go. A&M, 52 seconds left. They'll get the football back. A decent return would give them pretty good field position. We'll see how they approach the last 52 seconds. Gary Quarles back deep to return. He has one fumble on a punt return. Joe Gurley will punt for North Alabama. Gurley four punts, a 45-yard average. Barely gets that one off in time. Quarles will let that one bounce at the 28, and it takes a North Alabama wow. roll. Look at that thing go. Inside the five, the Lions down it. Now that's huge. That is a 
big time roll off the foot there of Joe Gurley. Clock rolls all the way down to 39 seconds. Right up against your own end zone here. Can't really do anything with the football here. You can't afford to turn it over. Hey, kind of look at the stat sheet in the second quarter. It's been a battle of the punters, kickers. They're doing it all, Spencer Corey and Joe Gurley. Yes, they have. They have both been solid here in the second quarter. 39 seconds left in the half. A&M will get the football back to start the second half. Two timeouts remaining. Glass standing in his own end zone. Delayed handoff to Bentley. Up the middle. He'll cross the five, get close to the 10. They'll mark him down at the nine. You get some breathing room, clock rolling, probably not in too much of a hurry right here. Yeah, that punt from Joe Gurley was huge. Really nothing A&M can do here on offense. Glass on second down, play action fake. Will he throw deep, has time, unloads. Comes up about five yards short. Abdul Ibrahim, the intended wide receiver. I like it there, take a shot, see if something good happens. Probably going to see a, a running play here to run out the final 12 seconds, but I like taking the shot right there. Our two quarterbacks today who are known for slinging it around. Glass, 8 of 19, 69 yards. Lopez, 7 for 20, 110 yards. Bentley will carry it off left tackle, and that should bring the first half to a close. It's a rivalry game, the 24th all-time meeting between North Alabama and Alabama A&M, the first time these two teams have met in Florence, Alabama since 1996, and it's North Alabama leading the Bulldogs 18 to nothing. We'll be back with the Geico Halftime Report. After this, it's Big South Football on ESPN+. Plus. Follow your heart to North Alabama Medical Center, the area's only accredited chest pain center that opens blocked vessels when minutes matter. Our team of healthcare experts are equipped with the latest in medical technology to perform life saving open heart surgery and neurosurgery. Turn to us for matters of the heart and stroke care, too. North Alabama Medical Center, world class heart and stroke care, close to home. Are you looking for the best defense against termites, ants, and other pesky opponents? Call Bohannon Services at 256-764-2452 for a free pest and termite evaluation. Bohannon Services is family-owned and still dedicated with a winning strategy. With over 47 years of serving the Shoals area, Bohannon Services, family serving family since 1971, and a proud University of North Alabama supporter. Visit us on the web at bohannonservices.com. Are you looking for the ultimate UNA experience? Then make sure you stop by the University Bookstore. Shop your Lion Pride all season long for new fan gear. The University Bookstore has the latest hoodies, t-shirts, water bottles, hats, and accessories in brands like Under Armour, Columbia, and Champion. The University Bookstore is conveniently located on campus in the Commons. Not on campus? No worries. Shop any day or time at NorthAlabamaShop.com. Hold on to me. Don't let me go. Your first name is free. Last name is. Freedom. Here at Fuller Heating, Air, Plumbing, and Electrical, we know when you're having a problem with your home you want it fixed as soon as possible. That's why when you call Fuller, we show up at your home in a fully stocked truck, prepared to fix your heating, cooling, plumbing, or electrical systems today. And once we solve the problem, we'll leave your home just as clean, if not cleaner, than we found it. How's that for quality service? Contact Fuller Heating, Air, Plumbing, and Electrical today. Follow your heart to North Alabama Medical Center, the area's only accredited chest pain center that opens blocked vessels when minutes matter. Our team of healthcare experts are equipped with the latest in medical technology to perform life-saving open heart surgery and neurosurgery. Turn to us for matters of the heart and stroke care too. North Alabama Medical Center, world-class heart and stroke care close to home. 
Welcome into the Geico Halftime Report. Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese welcoming you back into Brawley Municipal Stadium. And Brian, as you look back at this first half, North Alabama leads it 18 to nothing. First quarter, the Lions offense was really clicking. Second quarter, it was the Alabama A&M defense with the stops. Exactly right. And UNA's offense came out firing on all cylinders. A long pass early to start the first quarter. And then you're right, the second quarter was the UNA defense so far pitching the shutout here tonight. And really two special teams turnovers is what has sparked this North Alabama offense. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've used those turnovers to force something offensively, get their points on the board. But you go back to it, a couple of times they've had their backs against the wall defensively up against their own end zone, stood strong, allowing no points. Your halftime score, North Alabama 18, Alabama A&M nothing. The 24th all-time meeting between these two schools. We'll take a break. This is the GEICO Halftime Report from Florence. Rookie. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? Why, Juju? Sorry, man. I went to USC. If you get thirsty, you can drink your shirt. Eat for everyone. Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Go state. Go state. 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 It's first words. <laughs> you are my son. Stink stinks. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. What does everyone want tonight? Tacos! You can call us crazy, that's okay. We'll get party packs delivered any day. Taco Bell party packs. Get your first delivery free on orders of $12 or more only on Grubhub. <laughs> How can something like floor mats help improve your business? How can this give your employees more confidence to do that? For over a million companies, the answer is simple. Cintas. Get Cintas and get ready for the work day. It's decision day. 24 teams. 12 matches. It's all or nothing. MLS Decision Day 2019 presented by AT&T. Sunday on ESPN. I've lost two homes in my lifetime. Both times, my independent agent and auto owners took care of me like someone takes care of family. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. Campbell and Priceville High School, from Rogers High School and Russellville High School, Sardis High School, Sheffield Junior High and Sheffield High School, Shoals Christian School, Sparkman High School, Summertown High School in Tennessee, from Take the Stage Twirling Studios, also from Tanner High School, Tharktown High School, Tishomingo County High and Tuscaloosa County High, Vinemont, Wayne County, West Limestone, West Morgan, West Point, Westminster, Wilson High School, Winfield and Winston County High School. And now let's enjoy a musical tribute to the state of Alabama's 200th anniversary with the music made famous by Alabama personalities. Let's begin with our state song, followed by one of Hank Williams' hit songs from 1964.
Leonard Skinner from 1973. in 1914 by Florence's own W.C. Handy, the St. Louis Blues. It can seem unreachable at first. The bar too high. Shoes too big. You'll take leaps of faith and fall on your face. But you'll get up. Hard work is 50 sprints before breakfast and another 50 for breakfast. You'll eat it, breathe it, sleep it. The Goodyear blimp doesn't show up for just anybody. So don't be just anybody. Be blimp worthy. Goodyear. More driven. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? In 1979, Jiffy Lube changed everything by providing the first convenient oil change service. Millions of satisfied customers later, we're still who you trust. Jiffy Lube, you can do more in a Jiffy. and their 3-0 record road. Baker's ready. OBJ's ready. Ready to show the world the Browns are dangerous. Are you ready for Monday night? It's decision day. 24 teams. 12 matches. It's all or nothing. MLS Decision Day 2019 presented by AT&T. Sunday on ESPN. UFC 243. Buy it on ESPNplus.com slash PPV. This is the Geico Halftime Report from Florence, Alabama, North Alabama. Shutting out Alabama A&M 18 to nothing. Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese back with you. High above Brawley Municipal Stadium. Let's take a look at our first half stats. After some highlights, Terrence Humphrey got things going. Brian, early on, North Alabama really got the running game going. Yes, they did. You saw Terrence Humphrey there with a big touchdown run. They used his legs. The offense was clicking in the first half, and then you see here, here comes the A&M defense. Now they changed things a little bit. A&M forced uh, UNA to kick a field goal, and I was proud of the way the UNA uh, offense looked in the first half, but in the second quarter, 
It was a lot of the UNA defense that led to that shutout. Two special teams turnovers from Alabama A&M helped North Alabama put 10 points on the board. Joe Gurley with two field goals from 40 and 39 yards out. But the Alabama A&M defense, three sacks on the night, eight tackles for loss. But when you look at the A&M offense, they were just one of eight on third down, 0 for two on fourth down, and Brian, more importantly, 0 for one from the red zone when they had it at the two yard line. Yeah, that's that's the difference in this game right now. They had opportunities to get points on the board. The UNA defense stood tall and kept them out of the end zone and kept them uh, from kicking that field goal there toward the end as well. Good job by the UNA defense in that first half. Your halftime score, North Alabama 18, Alabama A&M nothing. The 24th all-time meeting between these two schools will continue when we come back. You're watching Big South Football on ESPN+. Plus. Let's tread stone. And take whatever life you had before and then erase it. I've been brainwashed to kill targets. I'm going to execute this woman and I don't even have a choice. Treadstone, set your DVR now. Boy, these leaves just keep on coming. Uh-huh. They must be coming from this tree up here. Dream, 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 dream. Chicken's almost up, folks. <laughs> I thought I was the funny dream, one. She's the funny one. Dream, dream, when I want you. Mother was so wrong about you. Honey, what are you doing? Let's have a harvest party. I'll invite my mom. No one knows where it comes from. Why some have it and some don't. It's the fighting spirit. It consumes fear and weakness. It stands ready to fight whatever shape the battle takes. Because as long as there are battles, there will always be Marines. How does it feel? Mostly it's mental. Your body can do it. Sometimes you need to push yourself. Would you rather have a battery that delivers extra life or extra power? I have the whole beach to come. Extra life. <laughs> I'm going to disagree. Extra power. Extra life. Uh, extra power. Extra life. No way. Extra power. Extra life. Good news. Versus Copper Top, new Duracell Optimum can do both. Extra life in some devices or extra power in others. Because both is better than not both. Here's a question. How can something like floor mats help improve your business? How can this give your employees more confidence to do that? How can safety glasses make your company more productive? And how can the way you look change the way customers see you? For over a million companies, the answer is simple. Cintas. So to help keep your business well-equipped, clean, and looking its best, it's Cintas. And get ready for the workday. Wrapping up the GEICO Halftime Report, your halftime score, North Alabama 18, Alabama A&M nothing. Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese getting set to bring you the second half kickoff. But first, Brian, let's review our Neese's pieces to success. You said A&M hunker down and avoid the big plays. For the most part, aside from the first couple of drives, they did that. Yeah, that's exactly right. I thought uh, UNA went for the big uh, play early. A&M let that play go. It happened. and. They got over it. A&M did a great job defending the big play, and UNA did take a shot or two later on in the first half, but A&M was, was able to defend those. The flip side, North Alabama, very aggressive, flowing offensively. They had confidence, 
but the confidence they went up 12 to nothing, 18 to nothing after that really did not take them as far as they probably wanted it to. Yeah, it seemed like the second quarter uh, they were bogged down a little bit, maybe indecisive. I don't know what it was on offense, but it just didn't look like the same crispness from UNA that we saw in the first quarter. Now we talk about A&M in the first, uh, first quarter there with their offense. They're going to get the ball here in this third quarter. See what they do. They had some success on the ground, Bennett, there in that second quarter. We'll see if they come out and stick with that ground attack or do they try to get back, go through the air with their special quarterback, Akil Glass. Oddly enough, two quarterbacks that are great at throwing the football. Both of them rank in the top 10 in FCS in passing yards. Akil Glass for AM, 8 of 19, 69 yards. Christian Lopez, 7 for 20, 110 yards. It felt like most of the offense came on the ground. Yes, it did. Absolutely. They had a great job, did a great job running the football there in that second quarter. Uh, the offensive line opened a lot of holes. I thought they really uh, had their offense clicking with the running game. We'll see about the first five minutes. We've seen that all year long in all levels of football. The first five minutes of the second half means so much. It's your team trying to dictate uh, how the game is going to be played in the second half. We saw how Montana was able to do that last week to UNA in the second half. We'll see how the Bulldogs come out here. They get the football to start this third quarter. A packed stadium here in Florence, Alabama. It's a rivalry game. The 24th time these two schools have met, Alabama A&M trying to snap a nine-game losing skid against North Alabama. They've got some work to do in this second half. Last week against Montana, North Alabama led at the halftime intermission 17 to 16. Then they were outscored 45 to nothing in the second half, so North Alabama knows how quickly a lead can slip away. Yeah, you're exactly right. They saw that last week, as you mentioned. If you're A&M here, you've got to come out and take control of this third quarter and uh, really get your ground game going just like they did there late in the second quarter. Sam Contorno set to kick for North Alabama. Adeo Halar back deep to return. He'll field the opening kickoff of the second half from the five. Takes it out right. Breaks out of two. Now three tackles. No, the third man finally gets him down. A return up to the 13-yard line. And here comes Akil Glass and company back out to open up the second half. Brian, first quarter, nothing but punts and a few turnovers. Second quarter, they move the football with the they need to establish right here. I think they're going to try to come out and establish their running game with Jordan Bentley, Gary Quarles, two good running backs in the first half that were able to get some yardage, find some success running the football. We'll see how they come out. That offensive line looked pretty good in that second quarter. An offensive line that returned four starters from a season ago. Akil Glass has not been sacked in this one. Young goes in motion. Now he's back behind Glass. Hand off to Bentley to open up the second half. Bentley. Had 62 yards on the ground in the first half. His first carry in the second half will go for a gain of one. Broderick Martin on the tackle. Yeah, a little trickeration back there in the back hip, backfield trying to get your focus off of the back. UNA didn't fall for it. Jordan Bentley is a freshman with SWAC, freshman of the year. Battled injuries his sophomore year. Split carries as a junior now. As a senior trying to be the man. Zabrian Moore, the intended wide receiver. Glass can't connect with him. A.J. Bracey in on the coverage. Yeah, Moore just dropped that football, and that was a pretty good play there, too. It was going to set up third and manageable, and instead you're third and long here, backed up against the shadow of your own goalpost. This North Alabama defense has been outstanding on third down so far. One of eight on the night is what Alabama A&M is. North Alabama on third downs in the second half so far this season through two games opponents or one for Tim on third down tries in the final two quarters. Glass, empty back set. Barely gets the snap off. Throws under pressure and he leaves it short looking for the tight end, Anthony Howard, and late penalty markers come down. Well, that's pass interference. And it is pass interference. That's a huge call because there was a lot of miscommunication going on on that snap before that snap for Alabama A&M. And the defensive pass interference bails them out. And that'll push the football out as you see there. 
at the 30-yard line. Coach Willis not happy with that penalty, pacing the sideline. Chase Brown, the man in coverage, called for the foul. So a first and 10 for the Bulldogs. That's one way to get a third down conversion. Glass to throw on first down. Quick throw out right, pass is complete. So Brian Moore hauls it in, A.J. Bracey tackles him. Same play just a few plays ago where he dropped that pass. Pickup of about seven there. I like what a and doing here, just getting what UNA's defense is going to give them, just take it down the field. With Brian Jenkins out, Zabrian Moore is the man that needs to make plays for AM. Glass to throw on second down. Out wide left. Ibrahim. He'll have the first down across the 45. Yeah, Will Singleton in coverage there gave him enough room there where he could turn around and make that catch. And here we go. AM just moving the change. UNA defense trying to get that bad taste of the second half in Montana out of their mouths. They need to come up here with a big stop. Akil Glass had one passing yard at the end of the first quarter. He's now up to 85 through the air. He has it first and 10 from his own 45. North Alabama brings pressure. Glass unloads down the field. Coming back for it, bobbling it. Did he catch it? He did. There's Zabrian Moore. That is a heck of a catch there, having to come back for the football. Against coverage there, I think it was A.J. Bracey giving coverage over there. We'll see the replay here. Has to come back for it and make the catch. We saw the ball bounce, but I think it came off of his own hand. Knocking on the red zone, Jordan Bentley will carry it close to the 20 before he's driven back. Charlie Wilson leading the surge. Charlie Ryan, rather. And him trying to. Continue what they had there in the second quarter. They moved the football and continuing to do that here in the third. And the Bulldogs put points up on the board. Glass with the hard count. Now he'll check down. The third quarter has been the most productive quarter for the Bulldogs. Putting up 34 points in their first two games in the third period. Two wide receivers each side. Glass, did he want to run? Throws to Bentley out of the backfield. I don't know if that was a design run, busted play or what, but now they're staring at a third down. Almost a jump pass without the jump right there. It was well designed, I think, if that was intentional. But the pass just a little bit behind him. Alabama A&M, one of eight on third downs. They had a penalty the last time they had a third down that gave them the first down. Glass alone, three wide receivers right. Excuse me, two to the right, three to the left. Glass throws underneath. He has the speedster Young, room to run inside the 10, upended by David Swim and a second goal line possession for Alabama A&M. You remember the last time they had it inside the red zone, A&M was unable to come away with any points. UNA defense on a bend but don't break mission again here now in the third quarter. First and goal from the six. Jumbo set for glass right here. Bentley the running back. Runs left, stretches it out wide. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama A&M. That play took a long time to develop, but Jordan Bentley just followed his blockers out in front of him and snuck into the uh, corner of the end zone. You'll see it here just inside the pylon, and that's exactly what the Bulldogs wanted to do, take this football down to the opening drive and put points on the board. The fourth rushing touchdown for the senior running back this season, and the Bulldogs have new life here in the third quarter. Spencer Corey on for the point after try. It's up and in, and the Bulldogs are on the board. They still have some ways to go, but they're clicking 18 to seven. Our score, North Alabama's turn when we come back. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. I wanted. I can't believe it. That car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. 
Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Boom boy. Discover the new language of travel. Bon boy. Marriott Bon boy. 30 hotel brands, endless experiences, rewards reimagined. Musco Lighting. We make it happen. Hard work, a love for the game, is mandatory down here. Sacrifice, a desire to be great, lives down here. Excellence, the will to compete, persists down here. This is the Big South, where winners are made. Alabama A&M on the board, a nine play, 87 yards scoring strike. Brian, what a way to open up the third quarter. They took advantage of what UNA gave them right down the field, marched it down. Nine plays, 87 yards, 320 off the clock. And the Bulldogs are right back in this thing. An announced attendance of 12,767 here in Florence. And that kickoff from Corey will bounce out of bounds. So not necessarily what you want after you get a touchdown and some momentum. But now, Brian, for North Alabama, you've got to pick up the pieces. Free yes, kick out do. of bounds. Kicking team. Ball be placed in the 35-yard line. First down. That second uh, quarter from North Alabama, uh, their offense just did not look good at all. I mean, it looked uh, slow and sluggish. And that's not the pace that, now that North Alabama wants to run their offense. I can guarantee you that. We've seen enough of Ryan Applin. They don't want to go slow and sluggish. We'll see if they change that here in the third quarter. Good news for North Alabama. Zach Davis back in at left tackle. First play for the Lions. Lopez throws out right. What a catch by Cortez Hall, tiptoeing the sideline. I'll tell you what, I love it when a receiver sticks out his hands and does not let the football get in tight on his body. That's a great catch over by Cortez Hall on the edge there, catching the football with his hands. Great job. Cortez Hall, his third reception. He's the Big South Conference leader in receiving yards. Second down. Hall will be the motion man. Terrence Humphrey, the running back. Here's his first carry. He has the first down. Takes the ball near midfield. And now the Lions move the sticks. And Terrence Humphrey just allowing the hole to open up in front of him. Moves the sticks, as you said. North Alabama with another first down. Lopez with a long look back to the sideline. Terrence Humphrey now nine carries, 92 yards and a score. Duncan Hodges the tight end, slides across the formation. Delayed give to Humphrey running right, he has space. Tackled from behind, he'll have over 100 yards rushing now. Desmond Fletcher chases him down. Right beside him there, 78. Ethan McCollum, great job of blocking downfield. You love it when you can see the big offensive lineman getting downfield and lead blocking for their back. Great job by the right tackle, Ethan McCollum. North Alabama pushing the tempo into Alabama A&M territory. Play action fake. Lopez sets the feet. Boykin goes up. He's hit after he catches it. It's ruled incomplete. He drops it. Trenton McGee on the pass breakup. I guarantee you, you talk to Dexter Boykin about that right there. He's, he'll tell you, I've got to catch that football 10 times out of 10. I got my hands on it. got both my hands on it. I've got to catch it. But what a lick dislodging that football from the Alabama A&M defender. Terrence Humphrey now 10, 10 carries, 107 yards, one touchdown. His second 100-yard performance in three games. 
Second and 10 for North Alabama. Corson Swin, the tight end. Here's Andre Little on the screen. He dances around, breaks one tackle. He's a speedster and a great tackle by Desmond Fletcher. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but a first down gain for Andre Little. Yes, I think you're exactly right. Desmond Fletcher, the free safety, had to come back across the field and make that tackle. Fletcher slow to get up. Maurice Smith also down on the ground. North Alabama moving the football in chunks. Andre Little, another dangerous weapon. Let's see, maybe see what happened here on the tackle. Desmond Fletcher not sure exactly what the injury is. But he is slow to get up and is now up under his own power. I tell you what, if you're North Alabama here, this is exactly what you wanted to see. Is your team answering the call? A big score by the Bulldogs to march down and open up the third quarter. And then North Alabama coming right back and trying to answer with a touchdown or at least a field goal of their own here. Desmond Fletcher up off the field, but they're still attending to Maurice Smith. Marty Smith, big defensive tackle out of Hazel Green, looking at his right leg. They'll take the players off the field. You're watching ESPN Plus, and this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you by GEICO. Great news, Big South fans. Big South alumni could save even more on GEICO car insurance with a special discount. Visit geico.com slash Big South for a free quote today. Good to see the big fella, Mari Smith, up and off the field a little limp there, but hopefully we'll be able to see him back here before this one's over. North Alabama driving into the red zone. The Lions 3 of 3 inside the red zone today. UNA's been very efficient inside the 20 under offensive coordinator Ryan Applin. Two of three this year. A season ago, they were 33 of 35. Lopez under center with Humphrey, the single back set. Running right up the middle. Humphrey sneaks through, carries a defender to the 10. You're exactly right with that call. He sneaks through that offensive line. Just a little bit of hole, a little bit of daylight for Terrence Humphrey to sneak through, and he did. Picks up maybe seven yards, maybe eight yards on the play. The big fella Humphrey up to 114 rushing yards. He entered today with 130 on the season. Little goes in motion to the left. Here's the give to Humphrey. Lowers the shoulder. He'll push the pile forward for a first down, setting up a first and goal situation. And the defensive end there fell for the fake on the give. And that might be Marquise Price, who was a little bit slow to get up there, fell for the fake. And a good job by a &L, or excuse me, uh, North Alabama of selling that fake and picking up the first down. So the Lions have it first and goal. Duncan Hodges, the tight end. Low snap. Humphrey comes away with it. And he'll plunge down inside the five. Trenton McGee, one of three Bulldogs in on the stop. What a good job by Lopez of going down and digging that snap out of the turf and getting that handoff to Humphrey. He had an A&M defender breathing down his neck. Terrence Humphrey looking like he wants the football again, thinking, hey, Coach Applin, give it to me. I'll put it in. Can the Bulldogs come up with a goal line stop? Lopez out of the gun. Again, Hodges, the tight end, motions right. Lopez will keep it, trying to roll out right, and he is chased down by Richard Calloway. A big-time play. Yeah, Lopez wanted Dexter Boykin in the end zone. Don't think that was a design run. He was open for just a second. And then, as you mentioned, Richard Calloway comes back and blows that play up. Good job by the A&M defense. I think that was going to be a pass, but he was covered in the end zone. Nobody there. So you have it first. 
First and goal, you take it inside the five. Now you're back to about the original line of scrimmage. Eight yards to gain. Lopez wants to throw left. Airs it out. Bird, the intended wide receiver, he overshoots him. And AM picks up a big stand. Jonathan Struggs was in on the coverage. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's a big stand by the AM defense. You and they will have to bring the field goal unit on, but that's that's huge for AM. Right now, the momentum clearly wearing the maroon and white. So Gurley has connected today from 40 and 39. Excuse me, 40 and 39. The chip shot field goal. No doubt that one was good. A 25 yarder to make it a 21 to seven score with 7.22 to play. Each team has had it once here in Florence. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN Plus. Powerful, influential, unstoppable. The right tech can help you move the world and create your own lane. The Nissan Altima. You not only move the world, you can make moves for your future. Presenting the Nissan Altima. Impossibly smart. As your life grows, so do your needs. And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? Let's just let her sleep. Let's get this guy. Yes! You should be the last <laughs> Play your favorite games on Nintendo Switch and now on Nintendo Switch Lite. A two-score ball game here in Florence, Alabama. North Alabama answers Alabama A&M scoring drive. Their first touch of the third quarter. They get three up on the board. Joe Gurley with a 25-yard field goal. That's Sam Contorno set to kick it off. Brian, each offense that struggled in the second quarter, finding life here in the third. Yeah, they both found their groove a little bit. A&M wants the football back here and try to come back down and answer that uh, UNA field goal. Odeo Halar awaits the kick. He's underneath it at the eight. Comes back near sideline, and there he's upended. Jacob Cummings with a big time special team stick. That was a big hit right there from Cummings. Great job by our camera guys, a great shot right there. While the Alabama A&M offense gets set, let's take a look at our in-game trivia today. From their Division II days, North Alabama and Alabama A&M have a combined four inductees in the Division II Football Hall of Fame. Can you name them? We'll give you some time to think it through. Here's Akil Glass and company out of the shotgun formation. Under pressure, has to get it away. Amir Postley surging through. Glass had nowhere to go with it. Now, UNA may dial up a little bit of pressure, as you see there. See if they can get Akil Glass out of this rhythm that he seems to have found. May see some screens and dump offs from the AM offense if UNA continues to dial up pressure. We'll see. Amir Postley charging through. And a loss 
Angeles Valley Community College. He signed a week before North Alabama's opening game against Western Illinois. Glass holds second and 10, two in the backfield. He'll keep it, option, and look, he flips it back. Here's Young on the end around, tiptoeing up the sideline. Steps through one defender inside the 30. Finally, DeAndre Hart wrangles him down. Danielle Manor going deep in the bag of tricks right there. And look at that, that play is blocked so well. He had three blockers out in front of him, takes it up the sideline, and then, as you see there, a good cutback, and UNA finally catches up to him. First and 10 from the 25. Glass to throw right, there's the tight end, Howard. Again, DeAndre Hart tackles him at the 19. A 47-yard run from Cameron Young. Shanye Reams, their left tackle. He's a returning starter, a little bit slow to get up. AM into the red zone. Bentley charges up the middle. The Bulldogs just one of two in the red zone prior to this trip. North Alabama, a little trouble last week in the second half. See if they, they can come up and stand tall here midway through the third quarter. North Alabama trying to get their fans into this one. Over 12,000 in attendance in Brawley. Third and short, Glass turns. Bentley up the middle. He has the first down. He'll carry the pile close to the 12. They're just moving the chains. Bentley's a big back. It's busted up in there, picks up the first down. See the UNA sideline you talked about trying to get their fans fired up here on the home side. Big drive here for the Bulldogs. First and 10 from the 12. They can get a first down at the two. The Bulldogs now three of 10 on third downs. They'll stay with the jumbo package. Glass turns. Here's Bentley. No, he keeps it. He wants to throw. He airs it out. He just has to throw that one away. Great job, smart playing right there by the quarterback, Glass. Not trying to force something, you live to play another day. A second down play upcoming. That's a great job by Akil Glass. He's a junior quarterback with a senior type decision right there. Four new defensive linemen check into the ball game for North Alabama. Second and 10 for the Bulldogs. Glass will check down to the sideline. Glass 13 for 28, now for 139 yards. Hands off to Bentley. Plunges forward, runs over defenders. He'll have it close to a first down. Bentley has found his game here in this third quarter. Jordan Bentley, senior running back out of Gunnersville. The third down try on tempo. Bentley into the end zone, his second rushing touchdown. What a job by the A&M offense coming back and answering that UNA field goal. Right now, they've got the UNA defense on their heels. Bentley just powering through here. Knifes his way into the end zone for the score. And we need to point out, North Alabama missed an extra point on their first try, a failed two-point conversion. And this is a big extra point try right here. Can That's make right. it just a touchdown ball game. Spencer Corey on for the point after try. And it's a one-score game in Florence. The Bulldogs not going away in the third quarter. We'll step away. You're watching Big South Conference football on ESPN+. Plus. It can seem unreachable at first. The bar too high, shoes too big. You'll take leaps of faith and fall on your face, but you'll get up. Hard work is 50 sprints before breakfast and another 50 for breakfast. You'll eat it, breathe it, sleep it. The Goodyear blimp doesn't show up for just anybody, so don't be just anybody. Be blimp worthy. Goodyear, more driven. As your life grows, so do your needs. 
And with Bank of America and Merrill, the benefits you get can grow too. As a preferred rewards member, you can enjoy priority service and exclusive discounts. So your growing life can be more rewarding too. What would you like the power to do? everything in that fire but my independent agent and auto owners made sure we were up and running fast that's what mattered to us for whatever lies ahead we're always there auto owners insurance it's a ball game here in Florence North Alabama 21 Alabama A&M 14 the Bulldogs with 14 third quarter points, and they're back in this one. Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese. Spitzer Corey set to kick off for Alabama A&M. And now can North Alabama keep up with this surging Alabama A&M offense? K.J. Smith will field the kickoff at the five. Smith has been a dangerous return man. He wants to go out wide and a good special teams tackle. Before this UNA offense comes out, let's pop up our trivia question one more time. They tried to stump us in the truck. I know the answer at home. We'll give you one more try to think about it before we give you the answer. Brian, do you know it yet? That's a good one. That's a really good question right there. You think about it, you can probably get it. I'm proud I came up with the four. <laughs> All right, back to business, North Alabama. You led 18 to nothing at the end of the first half. Watch out, here come the Bulldogs. That's right, and if you're North Alabama, you gotta get on your horse a little bit right here. You have to answer that. Jackson Carson will be the running back. Lopez will open up under center. Little in motion, play action fake. Lopez under pressure, throws back, looking for Hodges, and it's nearly intercepted, overthrown. Josh Williams unable to make the diving catch. Yeah, that's Christian Lopez trying to force something right there, trying to make something happen. He had the under, underneath receiver wide open. It would not have been a first down, but it's four or five yards. Instead, he nearly throws an interception here in the back part of the secondary. He's got to settle down a little bit, trying to force something. Second and 10, Lopez will shift to the shotgun. Cortez Hall alone to the left. Lopez will throw left, excuse me, that's Andre Little, slips out of one tackle and he's taken down at the 31. A&M signaling the football came out. Trenton McGee again making the play. But a big third down for North Alabama right here. If the Lions don't get it, momentum will be with the Bulldogs. That maroon and white sideline over there, they're fired up. They're ready to go, big third down right here, third and five. If you listen closely, you can hear the defense chants coming from the yeah. Alabama A&M fans across the way. North Alabama, three of 11 on third downs. They've got to get to the 34. The pass to Hall is incomplete. Again, there's Josh Williams on the coverage. Blitz right up the middle. Forced Lopez to get rid of it before he wanted to. And threw it into coverage right there. And here's another injured lineman down on the field for the Lions. Alabama A&M one good drive away from tying this one up. Brian, the third down play. Yeah, blitz up the middle. Came from the middle linebacker, Quan, uh, Travis Kelly. And then the pass out here on the edge was well defended. Again, it's the left tackle, Zach Davis, slow to get up. And here comes Joe Gurley on to punt. Chris Willis saying, hey, Joe, we need you to flip the field like you've done so often through the first two and a half ball games. Yeah, he's really done a good job of that tonight. Need a big punt, no win to speak of right now. All of, all of the flags here at the stadium are quiet and still. 
Gary Quarles back deep to return. Gurley's kicked three field goals. He has five punts for a 48-yard average. The Bulldogs come for it. And look at this punt from Gurley. Quarles, a big drive coming up for Alabama A&M, trailing by seven. Before we get to this drive, let's give you the answer to our in-game trivia question. We asked, who are the four Division II Football Hall of Famers? There they are, John Stallworth. Pittsburgh Steelers great, Cody Gross, Ronald McKinnon, Bobby Wallace, Cody Gross the quarterback, Ronald McKinnon the middle linebacker, Bobby Wallace the head coach for North Alabama, won their three national championships in the 90s. What an impressive group of four guys right there, wow. Brian Akil Glass did not get off to the best start in this one, one passing yard in the first quarter. Now he's in business, he can tie the ball game up on this drive. He looks like a totally different quarterback right now. Gary Quarles is the running back. He takes the first down handoff. He'll stretch it wide. He'll pick up two, maybe three yards to bring up second down. A&M right now just taking what the defense gives them. A little short gain out on the short side of the field over there. Came up. The third quarter has been the best quarter of the year for the Bulldogs offensively. Two receivers to each side. Glass with another handoff to Quarles. He has a lane and a great tackle. From the North Alabama defender, that was DeAndre Hart. If he doesn't tackle Quarles there, he may be gone. Quarles with his eyes up on that play, reading the defense. Great job by this junior quarterback. This A&M offense has found life in the third quarter. Glass will open up and throw outright. Moore has the catch, and he can't go anywhere. Jordan Robinson. Devontae Tolls both getting over there. You know they trying to rip that football out of there. I'll tell you what. I love the way that Akil Glass is playing right now on that read play where it's an RPO. Eyes up, seeing, reading, scanning the defense. He's looked really good in this second now on into the third quarter. Different quarterback. Chris Willis telling us he wanted to see his defense force a turnover and maybe even a score. It's been two special teams turnovers. Second and ten. Quarles trying to stretch it out. He breaks out of a tackle, cuts it back. He'll have the first down into North Alabama territory. North Alabama on their heels right now. Gary Quarles, speedy back. We talked about his size. Small back, 5'6". It's hard to get him down. Tempo in North Alabama is not ready. Glass gives off to Quarles, and again, he tries to slither through. Kendrick Haynes stepping in and making the tackle. Quarles checks out of the game. He'll get a quick break. And another UNA player down on the field. UNA looks like a lineman this time. I'll tell you what, Coach Maynard, his offensive coordinator, they see him there, Dwayne Taylor, talking to his troops over on the sideline. Right now, all of that momentum wearing maroon and white. Coach Con Connell Maynard, I'll tell you what, an interesting fact about him, we had this earlier. He was a body double for Jamie Foxx in a movie. And I thought about it, you know what? Same build, kind of looks like Jamie Foxx, kind of makes sense. Coach Maynard was a great quarterback playing Arena Football League for a number of years. Great player back in his day. Maynard to the left there in the white hat. Now he's a good coach. Alabama a m got him a good coach. He's a fiery guy, likes to fire up his team. First appearance in Brawley Stadium yep. since 2012 when he coached Winston-Salem to the national championship game. He's been here before. And again, really hearing it from the A&M side of the stadium. Glass bobbles it, keeps it. And he'll spin around, carry some defenders down, and a big third down coming up right here. Oh, yes, sir, it is. This is a big play here. Like we said earlier in that break, A&M has all the momentum right now. They're driving to try to tie this game up. UNA defense obviously tired right now on their heels a little bit. They need a big stop. Alabama A&M 4 of 11 on third downs. They're 3 of 3 in the second half. Trying to drive and tie the ball game up. Raleigh Stadium waking up for North Alabama. Look for a quick screen to the near side. You've got stacked receivers here on this side. 
Akil Glass from the gun. Bentley, the running back, it's a handoff. He has the first down across the 30. He's still going at the 25. He's at the 20 now. Wow, Jordan Bentley's rolling. What a move, what a run right up the middle. Jordan Bentley, a big, strong back, and here we go with tempo again. North Alabama trying to get subs in, players racing off the field, and the Lions did not have everybody off. When teams go tempo, it's tough to sub. I think UNA might have got a timeout there. Timeout, North Alabama, it's first of the second half. Wow. This will be a 30-second timeout. Well, this looks timeout. like a different team, totally different team. Running behind Jordan Bentley, 18 carries, 108 yards, two rushing touchdowns. He's over the century mark in back-to-back -back games. He had 18 carries, 108 yards, and two scores a week ago against Arkansas Pine Bluff. But, Brian, this third quarter for Alabama A&M, this is not the Alabama A&M team we saw in the first and second quarters. Yeah, and I talked about the Montana game last week a little bit. UNA played pretty well in the first half, came out sluggish in the second half, and kind of a repeat story here in this third quarter. Now, A&M, don't get me wrong, they're not putting up the points like Montana did last week, but they've come out and they have taken control of this game here in this third quarter. Right now, all momentum wears maroon and white. First and 10 from the 18-yard line. Another red zone possession, two of three today. And, boy, you just go back. They had it. First and goal from the two earlier, could not put it in. Otherwise, they'd be going for the lead. Glass misdirection, dumps it out to Bentley. Bentley down the sideline. Bentley into the end zone. Alabama A&M, an extra point away from tying it. There's the penalty marker down. Depending on which way this goes, it could be huge. Personal foul, blocked the lower waist, defense number 33. The touchdown's good, the 15-yard penalty, 33. The 15-yard the penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Blocked below the waist against Jordan Robinson. And that will be enforced on the kickoff. Alabama A&M. With 23rd quarter points, they trail 18 to nothing at the half. Spencer Corey looking to tie it. And we're all knotted up at 21 here in Florence, Alabama. The 24th time these two teams have scored the, the played rather. The first time we've been at Brawley Stadium since 1996, and what a ball game this has been. I'll tell you what, it was a sleeper in the first half, but look at this run here by Jordan Bentley. Brady Owens be trying to catch him in the backfield. Turns up the sideline, and then you'll see here, just cuts it back. Downfield blocks in front of him, and nothing but green and end zone in front of him. Great call right there by the offensive coordinator, Dwayne Taylor. A&M all of a sudden ties this game up. Brian, let's give the big fellas up front some love. Four starters back from a season ago for A&M. I think all four of them were in the end zone waiting on Jordan Bentley. What a wall he had to run around. Yeah, they, they've really taken over this third quarter. And you talked about their offensive line. They have opened up holes. They're pushing uh, North Alabama's defensive line back. And they'll kick off here, as you see, from the 50-yard line. Now out gaining North Alabama 380 to 281. Wow. What a third quarter it has been for Alabama A&M, and we are knotted up at 21. And right now the A&M band is getting into it. Their fans are getting into it, and the North Alabama fans are shocked. They're quiet. Right now North Alabama has the defense huddled up. Cordell Upshaw, defensive line coach. Trying to get them fired up. Corey's kick will sail into the end zone, and North Alabama needs an answer here in the third period. Well, let's talk about some of our nieces' pieces. We talked about this in the open. What does UNA like to do? They like to strike fast. They like the big play. They like to move the football down the field. They've kind of gotten away from that. Really, they haven't tried anything long downfield since that first quarter early. So it might be time for UNA to say, hey, let's take a shot here. We've got uh, receivers all over the field. 
Let's see if we can get an answer right here. Terrence Humphrey back in the ball game at running back. He has 122 yards and a touchdown. Here's North Alabama's answer. Hand off to Humphrey. He has a good chunk. Pick up a five to the 30. Humphrey's been a workhorse today. That's his 14th carry of the night. Last two weeks, North Alabama has managed just three second half points. With Montana running away, AM storming back. You're up 18 0 at the half. Maybe feeling too comfortable. Clock running, they may let the third quarter come to a close. AM don't want this quarter to end. And Lopez will not get the snap off. Here we go. We are tied up at 21 as we head to the final 15 minutes of play. An exciting finish coming up here in Florence, Alabama. You do not want to miss it. You're watching Big South Conference Football on ESPN+. When we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. When we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. is Jerry. This is Control Tower in the Wells Fargo mobile app. It shows Jerry his recurring payments, including a few streaming services he forgot about. It's time to clean house, Jerry. Good move. This is Wells Fargo. Let's try the stone. And take whatever life you had before and then erase it. I've been brainwashed to kill targets. I'm gonna execute this woman and I don't even have a choice. Treadstone, set your DVR now. What does everyone want tonight? Tacos! You can call us crazy, that's okay. We'll get party packs delivered any day. Taco Bell Party Packs. Get your first delivery free on orders of $12 or more only on Grubhub. It's time to let go. Bravo team moving to checkpoint. Sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. Civilians, two o'clock. Make a difference in your community, serving part-time in the Army National Guard. I've lost two homes in my lifetime. Both times, my independent agent and auto owners took care of me like someone takes care of family. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. Ball game comes down to the fourth quarter. 21-21 our score. North Alabama with the football. It's a second down handoff to Terrence Humphrey, and he's tackled for a loss. Armani Holloway chasing him down. I'll tell you what, Alabama AM, whatever they figured out at halftime, they have looked like a totally different squad here in this third and now early part of the fourth quarter. If you're just tuning in, North Alabama led 18 to nothing at the half. Alabama A&M outscoring UNA 21 to three while tying it up in the third quarter. Lions need to convert this third down here. They're struggling offensively. North Alabama three for 12 on third down tries. 
Lopez with pressure coming, throws out left. Boykin catches it in front of the North Alabama bench. He was working against Caleb Riley. That is a big boy throw there from Christian Lopez. Beautiful pass all the way to the other side of the field. That's a long throw, and it was on the money. Great throw, great catch there from Dexter Boykin. So North Alabama picks up the first down, trying to answer Alabama A&M. This is just the second possession for North Alabama in this second half. Lopez, trickery, dumps out to Bird. Bird tries to spin, and what a tackle from Desmond Fletcher. Yeah, a great tackle by Desmond Fletcher, but a great job by Lopez of getting rid of that football. He was in a mess in the backfield. Bulldogs did not fall for the fake. Lopez did a great job of just getting rid of it. The Lions play behind the sticks. The first down to get is at midfield. Hodges motions to the right. Freeman comes, Lopez forced to throw it and it's high, he was looking for Ron Thompson. Blitz off the edge there from the strong side linebacker. That's Jonathan Struggs. Got in the face, made Lopez throw it a little bit before he wanted to. And again, another big third down here for the Lions, this time third and 12. Tip your hat to this Alabama A&M defense. You're down 18-0 in the first half. And really, two special teams fumbles, which weren't your fault, yeah. helped North Alabama get that lead. But they have kept the Bulldogs in it. That's exactly right. A big third down right here. Lopez will try to throw for it. Can he escape? Holloway chases him down, takes him down, but Lopez able to throw it away. Armani Holloway. I don't know if that ball made it back to the line of scrimmage or not. It was close. Joe Gurley needs a good punt for North Alabama. A&M, though, a chance to take the lead right here. Boy, this game has completely flipped from that first half. Unreal. Gary Quarles back to return. He has fumbled one today. Joe Gurley averaging 46.8 yards per punt. Pressure comes. He barely gets it off a great kick. Quarles retreats back to the eight. Signals for the fair catch, and that's how you flip the field. Alabama A&M will try to take their first lead of the night when we come back. It's Big South football on ESPN+. Plus. It can seem unreachable at first. The bar too high, shoes too big. You'll take leaps of faith and fall on your face, but you'll get up. Hard work is 50 sprints before breakfast and another 50 for breakfast. You'll eat it. Breathe it. Sleep it. The Goodyear blimp doesn't show up for just anybody. So don't be just anybody. Be blimp worthy. Goodyear. More driven. Dr. Pepper. Go State. Go State. 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 His first words. You are my son. State stinks. State stinks. Dr. Pepper, the official drink of Fansville. In 1979, Jiffy Lube changed everything by providing the first convenient oil change service. Millions of satisfied customers later, we're still who you trust. Jiffy Lube. You can do more in a Jiffy. We lost everything in that fire. But my independent agent and auto owners made sure we were up and running fast. That's what mattered to us. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto owners.
A kill glass looking to lead Alabama A&M on their third straight scoring drive in the second half. We're knotted up at 21 here in the fourth quarter. Benjamin Ray and Brian Neese, an exciting fourth quarter finish coming. Quarrel slips out of one tackle, crosses the 10. He took nothing and turned it into something. And that's what A&M has done with this offense here in the second half, Brian. Yeah, you're exactly right. UNA defense had him bottled up in the backfield. He was able to escape that. Gained some positive yards on the play. Alabama A&M with 213 yards of total offense in the third quarter while scoring 14 points. Excuse me, 21 points to tie it up. Here's a quick throw out left. That'll pick up maybe one. Good job by K.J. Smith. You see him right there fighting off of that block, coming up and making a big tackle now. Big third down right here early in this fourth quarter. That was Ryan Stoves in on the reception. Can the UNA defense stand tall here and make a stop? AM 5 of 12 on third downs today, 4 of 4 in the second half. North Alabama has been so great on third down in their first two games, especially in the second half of games. Opponents were just 1 of 10 on third down in the second half. Entering this one, and look at... Coach Maynor sprinting down the sideline to call the timeout. Did not like what his team saw from the North Alabama defense. Boy, this is, there's big plays all throughout the course of the game, but this one right here is the biggest one so far for both of these two teams. UNA needs to come up with a stop. And if you're Alabama A&M, you want to keep momentum going and move the football and keep moving the chains and keep momentum on your side. Really big play coming up after this timeout. You look back at this ball game, North Alabama led 12 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. And you look at that quarter, and really the Lions left four points on the board, which is big. They'd have the lead right now. But AM has clawed their way back. The Bulldogs not satisfied with the way they played in the first half. And they are rolling. You know, we talked about it a little bit at halftime, down 18 to nothing. I didn't think A&M played terrible. I think they, they thought they played okay, and they really came out and busted loose in that third quarter. Third and three right here. First down to get is the 18. Akil Glass out of the pistol. Brings a man in motion. He'll hand off to Quarles, and Quarles has the first down. He slips through again. The inability to tackle right now is really hurting North Alabama's defense. Two times on this drive, they've had the running back Quarles bottled up in the backfield and unable to get him down. First and 10 from the 23. Again, they feed Quarles, and again he surges through. He'll carry it across the 30 up to the 31. A pickup of eight on first down. Tell you what, Quarles may be working himself into a starting job at tailback. He has been really special here tonight. Going to get a break here, and Jordan Bentley checks back into the game. Bentley checks in. He has 108 yards rushing. AM with 244 on the ground right now. Scratch that, 236. Second down, North Alabama jumps. Did Wallace Cowens get back? We had two UNA players jump. They both got back. And then Shawnee Reams jumps out on the edge over there. Offside, defense. Defensive player was in the neutral zone, causing an offensive player to react. Five-yard penalty is enough for a first down. Miscues for North Alabama piling yeah. up. Huge penalty right there. It gives them a free first down. First and 10 now from the 36. This offense rolling. Bentley running off left tackle. He'll pick up three, maybe four up to the 40 with the last push. And a late penalty flag comes out there as well. Interesting to see what this call is. Personal foul, hands to the face, defense number 96. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. That's against the red shirt senior Brady Owensby. Wow. Seventh penalty. 
Seventh penalty of the night for North Alabama. And that's a big one right there. Pushes the football into Lion territory. So Brady Owensby exits the ball game, and that's a team captain for North Alabama. The penalty moves it into North Alabama territory. Glass will keep it himself, and he has space, and he wisely slides a pickup of eight. Well, everything right now that Alabama A&M does works. Even when it doesn't work, a penalty against North Alabama gets him a first down. If you're North Alabama right now, you're just looking for anything good to happen, a turnover, a tackle for loss, something good if you're wearing purple. Bentley and Quarles are both in the backfield right here. Trickery, the pitch back to Young, and again, Young will race out in space. K.J. Young, excuse me, K.J. Smith tackling Cameron Young. Well, I think, I think Alabama A&M got away with a hold right there. That's another one of those things. Even when it doesn't work, it works. The Bulldogs have it first and 10 from the North Alabama 23. This is their third, fourth drive of this second half. 